What up? Yeah, Welcome yeah, to yeah, a yeah, podcast yeah, of Mo. Waka, 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 I am Mo. Joined by Skinny 5000. What up? What up? What up? Yeah. Uh, this is episode 94. 94. Of 100 of season two. It was all 94. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, let's see. 94, I would have been six years old. The motherfucking six. So that was a good... This is the year I became fat, I've oh, always said. Uh, demon fat. Six, six, I was six. real skinny and uh, all that devil food. And premature <laughs> and all that. And so they just kept feeding me food. And then I got chubby. And then, you know, so I went. Also, you know, to me, six years old is first grade. I mean, I know it's a little different for everybody. You know, some people start later, go mm-hmm. early or whatever. Um, but my first grade class, they put me like. It was very, uh, in my elementary school, there were just two classes. So there'd be two teachers per grade. <laughs> and they would just segregate them. Like, all the poor kids are in this class. And, like, all the better off, cool, cooler kids are in another class. So first grade, I was with all the, I mean, it was me and I was poor. So it was, like, me and all the poor kids. And we had, like, this old teacher that had been doing it forever. And, you know, it was, <laughs> I mean, she was really nice, but also kind of not. And then the other teacher was, like, the sweetest cool teacher that like as you go later on she's like everyone's favorite teacher or whatever Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah i didn't have her all the cool kids were right (laughs) so but i preferred i kind of look at the hindsight i preferred being with like the all the poor kids it was actually kind of cool not cool but we come uh, together as one yeah just all the uh there weren't any like fancy dress kids in my class you know i mean everybody we were all fucking rocking dollar store shit or whatever shit um Hell yeah. Now, once we, my family made more money, my mom cared a great deal about keeping me in cool clothes. But I, have, in my mind, when I was younger, uh, it seemed like less. But, you know, I still had like the oh, windsuit like, and shit. Like, don't even care. Like, my youngest, she don't care about Walmart and shit. She a rocket at all. Motherfuckers right. just love it. It wasn't shit. my favorite shirt in kindergarten. I remember because I have the, is my photo day because I got to choose my own clothes and all that. It just had this little fucking lizard guy with sunglasses. And then it was like uh, red and purple striped. <laughs> right. And then had like this little lizard man. Mine was like a shark shirt, man. I got to wear it like Monday. I had to break it down. She said I got to wear it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then on the weekend, she didn't give a fuck. I wore it. when I wore it, just let me wear it. Just like I just wore that shirt out. And I mentioned the, uh, I think I said sweats. I'm in windbreaker suit if I missed up earlier. Because I remember there's this one. I have a couple of pictures of me when I was about four, five, six. <laughs> And uh, it's like black, but it's got like a uh, highlighter pink, highlighter yellow, You're right, like man. accent spots. <laughs> I got it's my... fucking 90s as fuck when you Bro, see I it. I got a bright blue one with some black and gray stripe with yeah. some fucking boots, <laughs> some dollar store boots, man. Dude, I actually kind of miss, uh, and I can look at them anytime, I guess, but I have some. No one takes photos of me now, right? So, like, besides this podcast, no one would know what I look like or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but as a kid, my mom took so many pictures of me because that was just the era. You know, you took pictures, yeah. took them, got them fucking developed and shit. Yeah. And so we have like all these photos and a photograph of me just in this dumb fucking outfits as a kid. I, know, like, like, Man, I can't believe you let me wear this shit. Like yeah. when I look like an eat the open kid with these short ass shorts and a little <laughs> tank top and it's all striped up. And we're just cheesing and, and with some fucking thongs on. Little, yeah. little, little beast thongs. Like, what the Dude, also, that's a great reference. I remember so well. I went to Branson with my grandparents <laughs> when I was. 10 or 11 something like that and my i had three girl cousins that are my age and yeah. uh so all four of us went with my grandparents and on the way there my grandma was talking about wearing thongs and she meant fucking <laughs> flip-flops right but my three girl cousins because it's of our age you know my age they were like thinking she's talking about like thong underwear <laughs> She's like, they're like, Grandma, you wear thongs. She's like, I wear thongs every day. <laughs> and now I'm like, like, it was so it was, funny was to great. witness, like, as knowing what both were talking about. I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. And the whole time, my grandpa's just fucking murder cussing people going down the road, like, just road raging the fuck out. I'm mean, that's always stuck out of how mad he was the whole time. And hindsight, there were four of us in the fucking the backseat of a Thunderbird. You know, wasn't it? Was right. all pretty tightly fit, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was a good time. Also, that one, my oldest uh, cousin, Laura, she was talking to some guy named Ivan from Russia. And so my grandpa was going, Ivan, Ivan the bear. Mm-hmm. Ivan would be him so much shit. I met some weird uh, nerd kid, which was cool. And he was like, had a scuba gear talking about how he's looking at all the girls' butts under the water. And I was like, I've never thought about this. Uh, it's a genius fucking nerd kid. Right. That, that's like amazing. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're thinking next level shit. I'm over you're trying to go play shuffleboard and shit. <laughs> the shovel, he thinks I'm murdering some old people at shuffleboard. 
You know, I mean, it's a good game for them, of course, but it's start getting competitive and shit. I start talking too much shit. Uh, yeah, oh man, you like that shit? Well, it's probably just be my grandma. She's a big shit talker and very competitive. And growing up, I just played a lot of board games with her. And I think it just comes out, especially <laughs> around her. So I'm like, yeah, I, I beat I, that I, ass. I'm like me and the kids, if we can't play a game, I get competitive and shit. Like, no, nah, we, we, we turn it up. Right. <laughs> I gotta See, win. I mean, I have like imaginations if I had a kid, of course, uh, not that would ever happen. But like, like, oh, video games, there's co op game. You know, you can play stuff together, you know, mm-hmm. team or shit. But, I do think in competitive stuff where you're going against each other, you just have to win. I don't think you yeah. as the adult can be emotional about it. You just have yeah, to that's win. What I was like, I don't know holds bar. I don't right. let you. I'm swatting shit. I'm, I'm taking you out. <laughs> I'm and hurting. then someday when they earn it, it'll feel mean mean more to them. I was like, you know? I was like, are you gonna take me out? I'm gonna take you out. Yeah, they always like we should. <laughs> we're we're enemies out here, <laughs> right? So. We get it. Shout shout out. The kids, shout out the kids out there. Uh, still, still enjoying the full time dad duty. Or not necessarily enjoying, but it's still going the same. Or basically, yeah, we're about to change it up. I guess we got to change it. Sorry, right. I guess you're getting it together. We're about to change it up, but yeah, I still enjoy. Oh, yeah, you came in like we taking, substitute duty. Are we and- taking care of kids? Had to take. Had a. I have one one kid was <laughs> like came up to me like just like my boys like thought some kids gonna thought some older boys gonna jump him was like what, what are you talking about it's like well, my ass was blending that's like I blend in with these kids some of these kids are taller than me and shit <laughs> me is over there's like back to have kids back up all, like, all his friends like let, let him talk it out let like, gotta mediate this shit <laughs> big ass circle and little peace officer comes over like, y'all need to break I, I'm gonna try to Scott break through. oh he's like oh it's you he's like yeah I'm blending in with the kids fuck you man. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm trying to think what you could do to not blend in, but like, it's kind of good. Kid can't like I'm in here bright ass pink clothes and shit. And I'm just over just hanging out with these kids. Kind of let's still talk it out. And like, oh, he was like, you can tell this fairness is boy. These boy, he came to me quick. These boys gonna jump me. He's like, where they at? Let's go talk about it. Let's go get him. And all the other little young kids are ready to go fight. You know, kind of fuck down. <laughs> That's interesting. I, in my memory, and of course, could be wrong. You never brought adults into kid world, fight kid world. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you I know, man. But it was like tell, uh, he was scared. Like you can tell in his voice and everything. <laughs> Sweet kid, but like man, these kids got a fucking. Like, I know they were punking on him, and they're older too, right? But yeah. he's like, first thing he did, he kind of got me. He's like, these kids got to jump. He's like, where are they at? And his mom was like, she texted me this morning. He's like, why didn't you call me? He said, my dad Eric, was like, took care of me. He was like, thanks, kid. I said, I always got you, baby. <laughs> Another yeah. kid of mine. I guess also it's a bigger town where you're at. There's a lot more obvious. Like, there's only so many people. Right. You know, like you see, I, I watch too many fucking five videos on the internet. But there'll be ones where it's like all of a sudden, like, 15 kids are attacking yeah. one kid and you're like, oh shit, yeah. Right. What are you in the fucking and My son already said, like, he knows the kids that will fight. Like, this kid, he's not gonna, he's not a fighter like that. He's just a sweet kid and shit. Right. And he's like, nope. He's not, that's not happening for him. He doesn't care what it looks like. I'll get it on his own. I don't give a fuck. He's like, boom. Um, I was like, man, you oh, don't make you feel weak or some shit, though. Gotta think about that, too. Like, damn. My senior year, this is my favorite black dad moment that I witnessed firsthand. So you might relate as a black dad. But my senior year, uh, I am not playing football. I had planned on it my uh, to come back without a concurrent enrollment, and I just um. did, couldn't do athletics or whatever. And honestly, I, I was kind of checked out of it all. But so anyway, I go to the first fucking football game, like the first home um. game. It's in Kingston, which is interesting because my wife ended up teaching there years later. But this time, <laughs> first time I've ever been there. I ride uh, with this girl in my class named Sydney, uh, me and my friend uh, Zach, who... Uh, you know, didn't, he was a big basketball player, but didn't play football. So, yeah, me and Zach ride with Sydney all the way to Kingston. It's like a three hour, two and a half hour drive. You know, that's some right. shit you would do back in high school. Yeah. So, anyway, you, we get there. We're sitting at the very top. I remember this very well. Me in front of me and Zach are like uh, this black kid who graduated a year before me, who was like a badass, you know, football player, or whatever. And then like the, the great above me version of me. Mm-hmm. Right, like this fat white kid. I mean, he's not fat, but you know, chubby or white kid or whatever. That, uh, and so we were talking to these guys because you know we're friends or whatever, and we're all just talking shit. And all of a sudden, I guess a little backstory: Zach was somewhat dating this girl, this redheaded chick. Uh, not like <laughs> somewhat, <laughs> like they were talking or whatever. But I don't know if they were dating at that moment. I don't think they were. But anyway, something happened, and someone claimed that like he hit her. I don't know if he did or not, but yeah. I think he like hit a vending machine next to her. Is the, I think what the official story was at right. the time in my mind. And someone saw it and was like, he's violent and he's going to beat your niece. So these guys are coming up. Who's like the uncle 
and old cousin who's like a guy who works with Texas Rangers. I mean, it's a big deal because he come and speak at our little fucking things, but he was mm-hmm. like 15 years older than me. Anyway, so these guys come up and they start basically acting like they're trying to fight Zach, right? So these mm-hmm. two old ass fucking white guys are like, you fucking touch our family, motherfucker. We're, you know, all uh-huh. fucking right. <laughs> <as> right. Fuck. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Zach's talking. She's like, I'll break your fucking hip. You know, and it was so funny. I was <laughs> like, they were like, God damn it. <laughs> and Zach's like, because Zach was young too. Like, I think he graduated at 17. Right. Like, he was just one of those where his birthdays felt weird. So he was like, You fucking touch me. You know? <laughs> and he was like, I'm going to beat your ass. And then I'll see you. It was like a whole fucking thing. Also, these guys had a son who was like a little freshman, but not like itty bitty, like an 80 pound, had a heart condition that right. people, when you pick on him, people get mad at you. And I'm like, But he's a little shit talker. He was so annoying. So I was like, We'll murder your fucking son like <laughs> on accident like right. it was like everyone was real riled up right and then these two guys in front of us were like oh yeah we'll totally got your back shoot so we thought we we're gonna have to fight there at this football right. game but, but that didn't necessarily happen i guess things kind of chilled what was weird is everyone heard it because it's like the visitor side stands and like everyone mm-hmm. can hear what's going on and um he leaves and there's this old man named roy who i really like he was a classmate of mine's stepdad and he like owned a bunch of fucking he was like a real rich guy owns an insurance company and shit and he was like ignore him everyone fucking hates him he's a piece of shit you know so he was like he was the only person out of everyone that he didn't even say right. anything. everyone else acted like they just didn't hear it right and it all seemed a little racially motivated like how dare you be black and date my niece i mean mm-hmm. not saying i don't think they came out and said it right. but it felt like it was right. in there this was over a girl too i think his sister like this older dude's sister right. or something they, like it was a misunderstanding it's like no nah, that's not this kid at and all and so we get back <laughs> i mean this is a five, like i said two and a half hour fucking drop right, right? so we get back to Orico, which is where I'm from. And we go to my friend Zach's dad's house, who's a black dude named mm-hmm. Jerry, who works with my dad. They've worked, they were, they worked with Jerry for like 12 years and they carpooled and shit. So they've been very friendly. And so we show up and we're trying to explain what the, all right. So this is also important. The guy who did this named Sonny. All right. Well, that's everyone, everyone calls him Sonny. Sonny, Sonny and shit. But I think it's because he's a junior. Right. right. And so, uh, we, we're telling Jerry the story and Jerry's just very slowly putting on clothes, right? Like putting his shoes on. Now Jerry's probably like, oh, six four. I'd be pretty big. I mean, he he went to play college basketball. I mean, he was like as a power forward or whatever. Right. He was a big guy. And so he's just slowly putting on his clothes and he was like, Dewey, Dewey did that. So I guess Sonny's real name was Dewey. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like trying to process something. I'm like, uh, yeah. And he's like, Oh, okay. Okay. You know, right. So then it goes from like that to we they drive down the field house because that little kid. The freshman, he's on the football team or he's a water boy or something. So he's on. So they're like, he's going to be picking his son up. Uh, so like everyone goes down there. And then um, Jerry has Sonny in his car. He's So this grown ass man who threatened a 17 year old in the stands is in his car, locking doors going, come on, Jerry. You don't want me to call the cops. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry come on. And he's like, come on, no, get out of the car, son. Get out of the car, son. And like. It's just like 2 a.m. at a fucking football field house. <laughs> Everyone's like getting off the bus. Like, what the fuck? And he's like, you can talk shit to my boy. you know. And, like, <laughs> and then Sonny's getting bitched out, refuses to do anything. And then basically just like, you know, I'm going to get you thrown in jail because I'm a rich white guy. Right. And you're a black dude. And but it was like, oh, it was just crazy. And it was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Fuck Sonny. <laughs> your life. That fuck that whole great. family really. that, that girl so i good. still like uh, she actually came to this college here and uh i was friendly to her then or whatever and i like her but everyone else in her family it is kind of like fuck them for life <laughs> like, like, yeah like when these kids know i'm that dad like yeah. i will fuck some shit that they've seen and have it multiple times like he's the only dad on the fucking football field like man i don't fuck it. i don't play i'm not one of them motherfuckers that yell at y'all be like this but i also got you and i'm like also y'all see this shit like no <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> they mom she freaks out like, oh shit, she's coming. Like, oh, I seen y'all just take y'all two just take off walking real fast. Like, no, I just walked over there slowly. I was just seeing these motherfuckers, let us see what happened. I know, uh, one of my a, a person I work with, kid who's in junior high, they got like knocked out on some video that yeah. was going around, and so like that's a whole other fucking thing. Mm-hmm. And they were like with boxing gloves, like them and a friend, but yeah. then. They're like, haha, we can spread this around and make fun mm-hmm. of you. Like, you're like, yeah, that fucking sucks. You used yeah. to be able to just like, you might have got mm-hmm. knocked down a trampoline. No one ever knew about it or right. something, you know? And they not a kid of recording <laughs> shit. Like, see, Mike's telling me boxing with people and shit. 
And this kid, like, he's like, this kid, like, my son said, um, he, he beat me. <laughs> and it's like, well, then, then he come gets me. He's like, man, you, you, you stat little motherfucker. He's a center and shit. Right. He's a thick little boy. Like, you got that power. He's just too damn The only noise. time I really ever got, uh, it wasn't even a five. I got cheap shot it in a way. Mm. And I got so mad, but it's like, I have so much rage. Like, even this day, I kind of want to murder this person. Right. I you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and I know it's just, we were in junior high as kids, but everyone's people were boxing in the yeah. locker room. And this one kid just kept getting his ass fucking punched right in the face. And mm. I looked to my friend was like, why isn't he blocking? Mm. Like, you know, like not talking to him. I'm walking him like, it's crazy. This motherfucker is not blocking anything. And then I didn't see him and he punched me. Now him punched me in the face, not a big deal. But my reactions, because I'm like a real fucking jittery motherfucker, I jumped back and cracked my head on the fucking brick wall. And then I had this huge fucking thing on the back of my head. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, had like this probably concussion and shit from it. But it really wasn't from him punching me because it was, you know, boxing gloves really hurt that much. Yeah. Um, but then I think that's really the only time that it was like... Uh, I was very mad and I wanted to fight someone. I don't think I ever was in another moment in school where I was like, I'm pissed off enough that I should fight someone. And I had a lot of friends that fought though. And they would be like, like, they would get in a fight for me. Like before I got mad, they're like, I'm gonna go fuck that guy up. And you're like, I've been like that too. I'll be be like, like, oh yeah, let's go fight. (laughs) Go get me. In college, there was maybe a time or two that like, uh, you know, some shit happened. One time I saw my pal, I went and tried to fight people because he was like, I can tell you're mad. You never get mad. I'm gonna go fight I'm around this house swinging. And uh, right. so that was interesting. <laughs> but that's cool. That's just proof how well, you know, it's a real one. If you he's real with my fucking And I don't know if he's going to make it before the podcast is over, honestly. Uh, he, you know, last week we were hoping to, but he had a softball tournament. Yeah, he always in that softball. I'm and, tired uh, of playing. So I just think, you know, he has priorities. It's his kids, softball, mm-hmm. and then everybody else, I guess. Um, but... I, I had to go see him eventually, have him come down or something. Right. <laughs> and then I had plans during Thanksgiving week to see a high school friend who's supposed to be around. And I'm like, God damn it, I made that commitment, so I know I'm going to. But with closer the time comes, you're like, shit. <laughs> it's like a whole day or whatever. Uh, this is on V. Be- also, I'm going to cook up Thanksgiving, uh, like for my mom and dad, which I normally do. My grandparents are also coming up because my grandma's been harassing me of when you cooking me food. I was like, Thanksgiving, I guess, grandmother. So uh, that'll Uh, be a lot of pressure. Uh, Not really a lot of pressure, but, um, you know, it's just cooking a lot of dishes. I don't trust a lot of people with the other stuff. I'm like, I'll just cook all of it for the most part. And then it turns (laughs) a big math problem where it's like, you're just figuring out when to cook what so that everything is the like freshest at the right time. Because something I hated growing up, I had a huge extended family of like cousins and shit. So no matter which side it was, and it'll be like, uh, Thanksgiving starts at noon you wouldn't be fucking eating till one and I'd be pissed because so-and-so's late or so-and-so forgot the biscuits or so-and-so, you know, there's always fucking something. Some bunch, bunch of and so when I'm like, it's shit's going to start at noon, that everything will be done at noon and it's going to be somewhat work. You know, I kind of yeah. figured it out, but the last two years, two times I cooked the Turkey smoking. I think the first time it was great. The last time I, it got, I fell asleep it was like, oh, fuck. And then it was like a little too crisp on the outside. Now, when you took the skin off, it was all fun. But uh, so anyway, I got to kick ass. This is, there's a lot of uh, pressure. Rock and rolling, baby. That's right. So anyway, well, let's uh, let's play a song. I feel like I talked forever about nothing. Getting us on. But I had no, not much on my list. I don't think so. I was like, fuck it. We'll just roll with it. Rolling um, with the punches. All right. We're this is another best of episode. Best of episodes 90 or 85 through 92. Yay! Uh, is what this one is from. The other one was eighty-one through eighty-four. I forgot to ever mention that. So that mm-hmm. was the last episode. And um, you know, first one with this from It's Your Boy H Two, the motherfucking H Two, the man of many words. Uh, name of the song is Through the Crates. Oh, the Crate Challenge. Sample. Right. This life has been a handful uh-huh. And sometimes it comes down on you like an anvil Bang. Not at me, they don't back me It's all out to attack me And backfire on me so badly Yes, yeah, Milton Bradley Woo. Nothing else but a game uh-huh. Even down to my name right. Was all predestined, nah, there ain't no question right. Look up your birthday and you gon' see connections yep. To get your whole attention And even have to mention What this means, what that means Is it good or bad? 
Cause of course I've had dreams Wake me up in mad screams Got me feeling like I'm out of space I have been So now it's got me questioning every single thing Hell of pause, ears will ring I'm completely clean Couldn't be more clear Except maybe in my ears Scared to hit my drum Cause it's help We're all I've done Just wanna be the one for what has just begun And I can see the sun coming Huh? What you and me see ain't the same, I already know right. I've been digging deep through the crates of my soul Looking for them golden oldies Yeah, looking for them golden oldies Let's go! What you and me see ain't the same, I already know right. I've been digging deep through the crates of my soul Looking for them golden oldies Yeah, looking for them golden oldies Let's go! I'm straight thumbing, yep. inspiration is coming That's Love right. some classic rock, every class I rock uh-huh. Let me hear some opera, then throw on some Sinatra Every note hits hotter than Sriracha How about a rhomba, everybody mamba Then play some pop, play some pop. I gotta hear dear mama uh-huh. Then give me Curtis Slow. I gotta make my daddy proud How about some sexual healing, yeah baby Crank it loud, this yeah. is H-Style Life be playing on some shuffle on. Don't know what's coming Coming next, just know it's gonna touch you. Yeah, that's a chiller. Gonna crank up that thriller. My life is classified, all hiding in Manila. Yeah. But maybe it's vanilla. They say the truth will kill you. Yeah. Who was it set you free? Free's not something I'm familiar. Nah. Don't even know my familiar. Nah. But I hope they can hear the playlist on a made for them. We back up in the building. Don't even smoke, but I got a blunt feeling. All of this is real, and yeah. What you and me see ain't the same, I already know I've been digging deep through the crates of my soul Looking for them golden oldies Yeah, looking for them golden oldies Let's go! What you and me see ain't the same, I already know I've been digging deep through the crates of my soul Looking for them golden oldies Yeah, looking for them golden oldies Let's go! Let's go uh, through the yeah. crates. Through the crates, like uh, it's your boy H two. That's the funeral song for him, like uh, carrying his casket. That's right. I'm also curious if he listens to Sinatra. Mm. You know, brought that up. I personally myself have never sat around listening to Sinatra, but I know he's a huge deal. You know, I just mm. have. I'm completely a, like if anyone was like, this is what he sounds like. I mean, I have like that typical crooner, like. like Everyone leave all the room. You know that shit, like but that, I, I don't know that, that exactly. Kid. I couldn't tell you exactly what his voice sounds zoot, like. Zoot, zoot, zoot. Yeah, Zoot Suit Riot. Remember that one? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I've, like once a month for the last year, I've come up like the most song that comes up like pops in my head. I'll be like, "How bizarre! How bizarre!" <laughs> and then I'm like, "Fuck! Why do I keep singing this fucking?" And then, <laughs> I don't it's know. your time of the month. Once a month. Yeah, once a month it happens. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe, but listen, uh, this comes up. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, how I set my cap. <laughs> this is my manly period. Dun, 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 dun. What is that sound? <laughs> they do say men basically have an emotional uh, cycle, like a woman does, um, but it just doesn't derive from the bleeding. <laughs> but if our dicks did bleed once a month, we have a menstrual <laughs> menstrual cycle. It would um I mean, we say like oh that'd be crazy, but you'd be used to it. <laughs> you know. But if like in the moment you could produce sperm, if it was like, all right, you're, your fucking dick will start bleeding once a month. <laughs> but uh, like, that'd be so weird. And you had to wear like a weird like. <laughs> it's probably like a mini tampon that goes in your pee hole. Or you would wear like a the equivalent of a pad, but it'd be like a big ball, <laughs> cotton ball on the end of your dick. Or whatever. <laughs> so they give blood. They just put a tape and a cotton ball over it. Bow, or maybe because it happened to men and we have more men scientists or historically we've had more men scientists because of what's happened to women, not because like they're smart or whatever. I mean, maybe it's a little both. Who knows? Uh, but we probably would have invented some way to like fix some shit, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, this doesn't happen anymore. We uh change that. And they'd be like, oh, can you do that for women? They'll be like, quit playing God, bitch. Uh, I don't know. These parts don't line up. I can, I mean, this one top perfectly the p- politics. Right now, politics, you know, abortion's a big deal these days. Uh, it's blowing my mind. Um, I know every time I mention it, it's the same thing, but I just have to mention it because we only have so many episodes left. It just blows my mind how. 
I thought basically everyone, like 90% of people were like, yeah, you should be able to the first like two trimesters or whatever the fuck we want to say. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck limit is, but whatever it is. Mm. Uh, like we all agree, like there should be some limit. And before that, yeah, you probably yeah. be able to. And after that, now it's too late. Um, but both sides politically argue so extreme for like no exceptions. And I don't know if anyone really does that. Cause you know, but I'm sure there are some that do. I mean, that's how some laws are written. Um, <clears throat> and then the other side will be like, you can do it the ninth month. And you're like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just like, feel like it's for like the medical reasons and people losing their lives and like certain reasons like, Hey, you need to do this because of this. And like, they're like, we need to make some like, so that needs to be an exception. Of like, shit. I think if, uh, cause I mean, even like, so this is a very conservative one. Let's say it's a 20 year old college girl, but hasn't graduated. He has like, fuck, this is going to fuck up everything. If she catches it early enough, I more I morally don't have a problem. Right. Now, I do think once it's so far along to where like you vacuum tubing up out of there or whatever. And again, I'm all my knowledge from South Park. Um <laughs> it seems like we yeah, have well if it can like feel pain, it'd be like, who cares? It's done. You're like, well, that's the same argument they'll say yeah, about bomb bombing uh, the babies in fucking Palestine or whatever. And I'm like, mm-hmm. well, I'm I'm still against it. I don't know. Yeah. And then also the way some more left people, they'll be like, they are parasites. Like we go the from fu- a world to where like, and I hate being like this because I'm not like religious or whatever, where like there was a time where it's like, it's the gift of life and the miracle. And the you know, mm-hmm. a woman's just like, oh, this thing in my belly, it's, I could feel those miracle that it is to the other side of women being like, it's a parasite on your body that has to be <laughs> right. like, what the fuck? And again, I don't even want to say I agree one or the other. It's just like, well, you wouldn't, you shouldn't use that language. You're not right. winning anyone over <laughs> with, with talking like that. Yeah, on they're not camera. like infected or some shit. No, this is a choice they made to do. <laughs> and then because I don't believe anything on the internet, I'm like, or these are all actors pretending to do that to make the point of these people making the, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't even know these are real fucking people. Like, I think that all the time or anytime I see like anything, mm-hmm. you're like, or that person had a car, an extra one, and he wrecked it on purpose for the fucking life. Like, you just can't do it for the vine. Yeah, you just can't do uh <laughs> You never can believe anything on oh, this shit. I know, um, shit's always so, so much fucker. This going should on. be the last episode that comes out before two things, Halloween and uh, Election Day. Mm-hmm. So the next episode after this should come out the day after the election. Um, we didn't get either candidate on the podcast. Dun, you know, dun, dun. we tried so hard. Yeah. Um, I also, I'd rather get my dance. I noticed on. we've had this fucking ad on YouTube for over ten minutes, just be playing straight. So eventually, I'll get up and hit next because that's bullshit. They fucking man got in thirty minute ad, so <laughs> they've hijacked the screen in the background. But luckily, Very it's well blurry man. and you can't see it anyway. Um, I thought my angel was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, that's skinny. He's, uh, <laughs> He's on my right conscience shoulder. or whatever. <laughs> white man <laughs> um but yeah so but going on podcast you know before previously kamala's went on uh the call her daddy podcast and uh yeah i feel like she went on another one as well and then one of course on colbert and all these other fucking Had interviews fucking miller she highlight. went on uh cnn with anderson cooper and looked very unprepared which was crazy because it was pretty easy question Basically, she can't answer questions. And as y'all have heard me talk, there's many times I get distracted and mm. I veer off and get, I get it. So, but like, they're like pretty simple fucking questions. <laughs> and she'll be, she'll give like, I grew up in a middle class family and blah, which I disagree with that. Um, I mentioned, I think it was last week, the whole her being against the Christians and being like, that's, that's crazy because like that was so not against, but you know, that person at the rally, she was mm. like, this wasn't a rally for you. And like, that seems like a death sentence. So she went to a black church like the next Sunday or mm-hmm. whatever. And uh, you're like, but she's never claimed to be crazy. like, I don't know. And then here's an, I have to veer off real quick, you know, wow. side tangent, but JD Vance goes on uh, Theo Vaughn's podcast. And uh, I personally think, and I've said this many times, everyone I know hates JD Vance. Like he's just weird. He's a weirdo. He's a creep, blah, blah, blah. And then every time I've seen him on an interview, I'm like, I kind of like him, and I'm. Is am I the, am I wrong here? I think I might even mentioned last week. It's, it's your personal reference, like you said. <laughs> and then um, he goes on Theo Vaughn, and he's not like the coolest guy ever, but for like a politician, he's cool. You know, politicians aren't fucking cool. Man, Theo making people feel comfortable. Like right. he's like he's got that like people just yeah, like and like, JD's all like, like saying shit get, and fuck and like you know he's like kind of just getting along with Theo or whatever. Theo is loose and there's like man, you know. And so you're like. uh Y'all know you kind of like it. the top fucking comment on that thing is like I've been told JD Vance is weird. He seems normal as fuck to me. You know, and you're right. like, yeah. <laughs> so I do think there's some of these podcast appearances by the politicians um, yeah. that are like 
Oh, interesting. And in what in what podcast they're on? People get to get loose and like like feel free. To kill well, I just started this morning because it just came out. Trump on Rogan, but I'm only <laughs> halfway through it. Now I'll be honest, it's kind of a slog. A lot of Rogan episodes are. Rogan's kind of boring. I don't quite understand how Rogan is still the number one podcaster. Like I've been listening forever. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even I don't listen every episode. Maybe once a week Mad. I'll check one episode out or something. But right. uh, he's not. He's like authentic to himself and you, I mean, I like Rogan or whatever, mm. but like it, his podcasts aren't that interesting or that yeah. entertaining. A lot of times it's like the same shit over and over. Uh-huh. And so, but anyway, Trump is the one just going on and on about dumb shit. And he's very much an old man. So he like repeats himself a lot. Uh-huh. Not like in a way, like he has dementia, but just like an old man way of like, cause it was, it was the best or whatever. Right. And then, so they're getting through it. I think, Rogan's been asking some pretty decent questions, but you know, so I can't answer fully. I haven't seen the whole thing, but uh, yeah, it's just interesting how it's um, how it all that has right. way more pull than them going on the normal news. Like no one watches fucking TV. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Like no one's watching and, like, network. Fucking Dana or, White's like best like <laughs> good friends with fucking Trump. I don't know. Right. I don't know how Rogan feels about like. I don't well, know, Rogan on said forever he wasn't going to have him on. He, that's I mean I've right. like I said I watch Rogan. Rogan has always said he wasn't going to have him on. And they always um, and like they tiptoe around them the every time they talked about was, it. The rumor was was because Rogan's parents are very liberal, and they're still alive, and so he just doesn't want to upset them by having right. Trump on because they're like the top. They're like you're going to ruin this country, and but I think after the assassination attempt, he started coming around and being like, I think it would kind of be cool to have him on. And then he reached out. At least this is the rumor. He reached out to Kamala Harris and he wanted to have both on separately. You know, they mm-hmm. each. So he's not picking favorites. They both have their three hour podcast or whatever, which is crazy that Trump could sit down for three hours. Joe Biden could not have sat down for three hours right. and talked to somebody. Right. Like <laughs> just as one lose the conversation. And yeah, um, I don't think everywhere. Kamala really could not. Well, I mean, maybe she yeah. could depend on the topics or whatever, but and um. I don't know. It's all it's all interesting. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think if your your mind's probably made up at the moment, you know, like I don't think anyone's gonna be like convinced of something. Right. Uh you know, my wife hears me complain about everyone all the time. And so she's like, <laughs> Well, who's supposed to be the right person to vote for? And I'm like, Oh, it doesn't even matter at this point. They all kind of fucking I mean, side. Everybody but. says the same thing. Like, we don't <laughs> I'm not gonna vote. Well, you still gotta vote. There's some things you need to vote on on there. Like, right. Like, I I guess if I had like right now if my gut check of how I would rather out of the Trump, come on, I guess Trump. Um, but he has this project 2025 scaring a lot of people. And, uh, you know, they'll the Heritage mm-hmm. Foundation and all this. Or three but shit. <laughs> I guess to me, the Heritage Foundation will exist regardless. Now, I don't know. Maybe they really will have an effect or an impact on Trump and what he does. Who knows? Um, but I just have you've seen we've seen how the countries ran for the last however many years and yeah, that's same the, shit. That's like, what Kamala would do because it is the same people this? endorsing her. No, same shit. Um, so, <laughs> uh, you know, we're, I, I'm not convinced, of it, but I do want I want our state to be democratic. It hasn't been democratic my whole life. Right, we're all run by conservative Republicans that run our shit in the you ground. The Trump shit, the fucking man. state. If Trump's gonna eliminate the Department of Education, because that's what. People claim this 2025 shit's going to do as part of it. Um, then I would like our state to be better about it. You know what I mean? Like, I guess I, I wouldn't mind our state becoming more democratic and socialist and like helping people out. Right. I think they should tap into the natives. Maybe just give the state all to the natives. Man, we got you know fucking what I mean? state. State ain't fun. He like he's rather work with them. He's working against them. Like he, <laughs> I upset losing. People, like he's fucking stupid. Well, man. I don't know if upsets are out where, but I say I say a lot of uh, un comfortable truths right i guess right. i'll say i don't and, I'm and i mentioned facts. before i don't have a loyalty to things that gives me that like cognitive distance like a lot of people politically or religiously or whatever mm-hmm. they just believe something so much that when you say something against yeah. it it like offends them right it yeah. hurts them and i don't have that so they're, they're sometimes closed minded <laughs> so sometimes i uh i can maybe push but you know someone was complaining we have this uh secretary of education that's uh train wreck of a motherfucker right like mm-hmm. he's just ruining everything trying to purposely break laws use funding to buy bibles for classrooms and he's not giving people fundings that they are supposed to get after the uh all the security issues with the school mm-hmm. shootings and then the state legislator passed like hey this money has to go to these schools for these three years for security measures and then some schools were saving like stacking years so they could get like buy a big metal detector or right. some shit and so he just said, well, if you didn't use it the first year, we're taking all your money. And so now, like, schools are having to fucking sue the Department of Education. Like, give us back our fucking money. You know, and then, yeah. like, the 
legislators are in the school side. So it's like this one guy against everyone trying to fuck everything up is what it feels like. He's also very pro charter schools and religious schools. And mm-hmm. he's trying to get like your tax money to go to churches, basically. Right, yeah. So we don't like this guy. But some teachers were complaining about him. And I agree. You know, I'm teachers, but people were in the school. Yeah. And I agree. He sucks. And I said, yeah, but you know what? If he ran tomorrow and he had a Republican next to his name, he would win again. And it doesn't matter. Like, because that's what's the state of things in our state it a republican wins everything so really like the primaries where the battle is and if you're mm-hmm. republican like we had a guy you actually know this guy but he ran for our to represent us in a state senate he worked mm-hmm. for the school and he ran as a republican all of his positions were democratic positions right. like if you asked him what they were he would be like completely democratic the guy he ran against ran as a democrat all his positions were republican and then it came down to like a 45 to 55 percent thing. And the guy that won is because in Oklahoma, you can still go in and just hit the R at the top and it votes all Republican. You don't have to mm-hmm. fucking oh, okay. select them. And so I think we're like four states left or whatever. Um, so anyway, that's just how it goes in our state. Motherfucker. Like, so I kind of want our state, of course, to go Democratic. Mm-hmm. But I don't even love the uh, Joe Biden shit. Now, I also kind of have to be fair because no one ever talks about this. And I feel like I'm a crazy world. Maybe I am. But I remember said on the podcast in 2018 or some shit, there's a big fucking financial bubble coming. I just read this article that's like it is going to bust during Trump's last year. And it's not his fault. It's just part of this. They've been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And then COVID happened and that bubble burst in COVID. And then they yeah. blame it all on COVID and print the money, which I'm sure definitely did not help. Yeah, you're buying with them funds and shit. It's and like, I don't know if, if Trump or Biden, whoever it was, would have mattered. It might have all fucked up anyway. You know what I mean? All those PP loans, and like now, now they want to come out after people, motherfuckers, because now they want to get the money because, like, oh, yeah, this is so fucked. Well, like, yeah, they like, fucked it up, but like now they're trying to get come back and look for motherfuckers for this shit. Yeah, it's like they fucked up Afghanistan. <laughs> no, they like, we're coming back for the money. Like, oh, yeah, everybody's going to jail and shit. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. Even Big Baby Davis. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I didn't know he's going to prison. Like, oh, damn. He's over fucking with money, too. And then oh, my religion and politics. Another thing happened this week at work where, like, I, there's an older guy working with Tarn Brown for years who, like, his wife's super into, the, like, the crazy right wing conspiracy. Mm-hmm. So, I, like, will talk to him because I know he knows a little through her. And I'm like, what'd you hear about this shit? You know, and then I kind of get him worked up. And uh, I'm also just well informed <laughs> of all the conspiracies. And so it's very fun. And a lot of my coworkers seem to enjoy it. But there's an older ladies whose office is right next to ours. And oh, this is actually ties it all back. Earlier, I was like talking about JD Vance. Mm-hmm. Another example of being in Oklahoma is we have people that are like, he's not conservative enough. <laughs> like they don't like him because he's not. And when I'm like, he's the Republican fucking guy. And I, so when I was like, he gives the creeps, a uh, lady I work with was like, me too. And I was like, why does he give you the creeps? I thought you were fucking right. conservative <laughs> or whatever. She goes, because him and his wife have different religions. And I was like, well, he lives, it's his America. I was like, oh, and I said, <laughs> I don't personally care what someone's religion is. And then as soon as I said that, these other ladies shut their door. Like, we ain't listening to this. Now I was like, Ugh, you know, and I felt kind of bad, but also like, I don't think I was offending. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, you're saying, you don't I, care. You I guess I think because the like the, the current politeness in our society is you don't talk about politics or religion, right? Yeah. Don't politics or religion. I think that's the man. And when I say the man, I mean like the people in charge, right? right? So like if we were in a monarchy, that'd be the king. Currently, this is the fucking deep state government and current <laughs> elected government that we have that have all the power over everyone and don't really, uh, you know, get punished uh, for anything. Uh, you know, they don't want you talking about it because they don't want a revolution. So revolution. they're like, you're not supposed to talk about that. And then yeah, it keeps you. Only, I think that that only applies like at the bar. It's like you don't talk about politics or religion because people get worked up in the bar and gotta do that shit. Like, no, nah, you don't do the bar. But anywhere else, like, yeah, it's free to talk. Talk about that shit. Let again, that shit out. I don't get offended. Like, if someone can completely disagree with me, and I'm like, God, it's crazy. You know, we can I, agree. I can agree to disagree. Like, we don't have to get worked up. We just like having a and conversation. I think <laughs> the reason I can upset people during this is because whenever I hear something, they ble- I'm like, oh, why do you believe that? And then when you start pushing, and they may not have a good answer. And yeah. like, shut up. And you're like, well, all right. I mean, like, hey, I'm just trying to know what you like. Yeah. Hey, I'm trying to see your point of view. You might have a point. I'm just trying to see where your point's at. But like, if you can't explain your point, then what the fuck? Don't get mad. Like, okay, you can't explain. Right. So you I might feel like that's what happens. And, and then you, it then makes you feel, make you think and question yourself. Then like, <laughs> why am I questioning myself? Like, shut up. You're fucking my, my beliefs up. No, you got to really think about it. Open your fucking mind. Close minded fuck. Amen. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> Amen. Uh, oh, my last, not my last poll, but my last thing that we play a song is I also don't blame any of these celebrities that 
mostly they're black celebrities, but Eminem was a white one that did it. As well. But all these celebrities are going to Kamala's rallies and like giving her all of the endorsements. We want a revolution. And also, I think it's so funny that like the whole left side for the last however many years since Trump's been around has been like, what does a celebrity have to do with politicians? He's just a dumb reality star celebrity. And they're like, what do we do? Pay all the celebrities to endorse us. And you're like, well, mascot. I thought being a celebrity wasn't important. But endorsement rumor is Lizzo got paid 2.3 million dollars for one day's <laughs> worth of work talking at Kamala's rally in which she fucked up and said Kamala will make the whole country like Detroit in which Detroit's not in like the best shape at the moment I don't think um so Detroit baby I'm just saying I would take the money too mm-hmm. and then people acted mad and this happened years ago during the BT software or whatever but it people mad Eminem is anti-Trump and you're like he, <laughs> He's been anti-Trump. Now, I make the argument, and I thought this back when I was also more anti-Trump because I was so pro-Gary Johnson, but there's no good libertarian can at this time. And uh, what is Aleppo? Anyway, (laughs) one person might understand that reference out there. And for you, I I applaud you. Um, Round applause. But um, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, when Eminem did that goddamn cypher where he was like, and we'll be coming for Trump and fuck Trump. And you're like, oh, this is so cringe. Ugh. This is so Ugh. like, uh, can't, uh, brother. Uh, why, why, why you sounding like that? I don't want to. Yeah. Uh. But you know, I've never been a big fan. So who was not? What does it matter? All right, I'm gonna play a song because again, I'm talking a long time. We did a long time. I'm gonna run out of shit eventually, and then I'm gonna be like, "Fuck!" Oh, run out of shit! Like, um, oh, but we're going with like Sir Nasty. Sir Motherfucker Nasty, that nasty motherfucker. You still got to work out if we're gonna get him on episode uh, 99. Work, That's work, the work, work. plan now. If he does want to do the whole one, and last time he was like, "I can do half an episode." I'm gonna fuck. Um, but we could just do it, like I said, a couple segments. We can do it early and save it if we needed to. Mm. Uh, you know, we could work out some schedule and shit. Oh, so a bonus. Show I know graveyard motherfuckers are. Uh, listening, oh, dig him out to do your heart. Uh, all right, song is called Chill. Play with somebody else. Oh, play with him. Check it out. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if they don't like me, I say, fuck them. I'm not of this world. If she like me, I might fuck her. I don't love this girl. If she start tripping, I say, cool, I call my other girl. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I'm cold, you better ask, I'm from another world. Mm-hmm. You know the code, nigga. Never fuck your brother's girl. Mm-hmm. It's death before this sauna. My OG sis Shauna. I pop a chopper, they say, nasty off his rocker. She wanna give me nasty head, I said, I ain't gonna stop her. Your man wanna play with me, I got something for the nigga. Mm-hmm. Big guns and big trucks, I'm a Georgia nigga mm-hmm. Come off the hip with the clip, don't give me any lip mm-hmm. I sip with a skinny bitch, we finna skinny dip the My crib bitch say, damn, cuz you got plenty drip mm-hmm. I left the strip club with calm on my fingertips Nasty. Uh, Last night I heard some dead men talking mm-hmm. Tell them rappers they some dead men walking yeah. I shoot a motherfucker in his head Don't play with you me You still moving, then you shoot him till he dead Don't play with keep me Keep it moving, keep it moving by the bread Don't play and with you me you can tell them motherfuckers what I said Don't, Don't play with me I shoot a motherfucker in his head Don't play with you me You still moving, then you shoot him till he dead Don't play with we me We keep it moving, keep it moving by the bread Don't play with and me And you can tell them motherfuckers what I said Don't play with me I shoot a motherfucker in his don't play with me. You still moving, then you shoot him till he's dead. Don't play with We keep it moving, keep it moving by the bread. Don't play with me. And you can tell the motherfuckers what I say. Don't play with me. Just like my granddaddy, I'm the grandest. Daddy just threw a few grands on the canvas. Daddy got a mommy speaking Spanish. I bust in her vagina, then I vanish. Nasty. Coochie, coochie, boy, I get manish. Bitches know my flow is outlandish They don't understand me, they can't stand this And now I line these niggas up like an Andis I pull up, now I'm pulling down panties I pull up, now I'm pulling down panties They got on Victoria's Secrets They just wanna fuck me, they know I can keep a secret I shoot a motherfucker in his head Don't play with he me He's still moving, then you shoot him till he's dead Don't play with we me keep it moving, keep it moving by the bread Don't play and with you me you can tell the motherfuckers what I said Don't play with I me I shoot a motherfucker in his 
head. Don't play with he me. still moving, then you shoot him till he dead. Don't play with we me. We keep it moving, keep it moving by the bread. Don't play with and me. And you can tell the motherfuckers what I said. Don't play with me. I shoot a motherfucker in his head. Don't play with he me. He still moving, then you shoot him till he dead. Don't play with me. We keep me. it moving, keep it moving by the bread. Don't play with and me. And you can tell the motherfuckers what I said. Don't play with me. Uh, sure, nasty. Don't play with me. Mm. Don't play with me. Yeah, that motherfucker. Uh, yeah. All of that grimy shit. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna kick down people. Gonna miss playing new certain nasty music, you know? Shit, I'm still be bumping them. Of mm. course, we'll play them, but not on a, not on a podcast <laughs> fashion. Uh, it's gonna be all tears episode 100. No, probably not. I I had a finale once before, and it wasn't. I don't remember if it was any good though. I have no memory if uh, we like put out <laughs> a good one or have a closing. Yeah. It's closing time. I guess I should be like thinking of like the all time greats. Where I probably should get like just all the things I'll never give up on. Like I America should get rid of tips and uh, other fucking random grind my gear moments. Oh, you know, you know grind my gear. Um, grind my gear. Oh, uh, last week I hurt my thumb really fucking bad. Uh, it somehow just hit me after y'all left. So we did the <laughs> podcast and then y'all mm-hmm. left. And I told Cupid, I was like, man, my thumb really fucking hurts. And I didn't understand what was going on. And, uh, but I'm going, God damn, like, it was like <laughs> right. this part or whatever. Like, it felt like I, I thought I like broke my wrist or sprang something. I was like, but I don't know if my thumb or wrist or whatever's right. going on. And the next day, so that next Monday, I go to work and I cannot pick up. So, in my job, you know, I carry a lot of fucking computer shit around. And so, if I had like one Chromebook, which is like a small laptop, yeah. I could carry one. But if I put two, I literally could not hold it. Or else, like the pain was too severe. I was like, ah, so I'd all day I was like trying to not use this hand and I was doing everything one handed, which would work, but it's I would just forget and you'd go to use your fucking right. and you're like, God damn it. <laughs> and I was like, I don't, there's no way this is ever going to get better. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is the second day. And many people were like, you need to go to the doctor that I would see all throughout. They're like, that's crazy because I would be like in like a lot of pain. I was like, nah, I just think a couple good nights of sleep and. I'll be all right. <laughs> I'm a doctor myself. <laughs> and then they'll, they all, everyone looked at me, all these teachers, like, you're a fucking idiot. All right. right. That's the look I got from a lot of people. <laughs> and then I woke up Tuesday morning and I was like, ooh, it's almost here. like it felt, it hurt still a little bit, but like way less than it did the day before. Right. And then by Wednesday, it was like back to normal. Yeah, no, and then great. I was like, ooh. Um, but it was like, I kept like driving, just like trying to turn the wheel. I was like, oh, like it hurt so bad. So um, be a play over here. I got to drive one arm over here. Uh, yeah, exactly what had to happen. Kill shot. And then he's fucking, and then this morning to get a pain, I thought I was going to have my back locked up. I was like, I don't know if we'll do a podcast today. I took the dog, you know, 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck to the park. And, uh, I was like, man, my back's really fucking stiff. And by the end of it, I was like. Ugh, I'm gonna lock this shit up at any moment. Um, <laughs> if you've ever locked your back up, you know that feeling. But uh, there is like a oh, I'm so close. Like your disc is slipping or whatever the fuck. Uh, I don't know. It's gel coming out your spine or some shit. That's what it looks like. I got the, a stinger. Yeah, but I was like, oh, this is. I gotta make it back to the car. I cannot <laughs> not make it back to the car. <laughs> right. <laughs> With a crawl back. Yeah. So yeah, that would suck. But I was trying to avoid. Um. So anyway, you know, lots of health issues, but um. I'm still kicking. I'm doing nothing about it. No doctor visits. I took some leave. That's what got the back going. I'm really um I leave. <laughs> I'm really like what's stingy with taking medicines in general, but it makes them work whenever you need it. So like I have real pain pills, like the real stuff. Uh <laughs> but and I thought about taking it for this, but I was like, oh, I don't know, I can do the podcast. So I was like, I never take a leave. I quit taking Tylenol in junior high because they quit working because I took them every day because of football. I was just like Fucking popping extra strain down all every day. And then uh suck no damn. It's like ibuprofen, really. <laughs> yeah, and then ibuprofen, once it came out how like bad they are for your kidneys and she was like, I'm gonna quit doing that. And then uh so I just I try not to take any of the medicines and uh, you know, I like a few powdery substances, but you know, I don't need a lot. Uh it's the weed, bitch. I keep the tolerance low. And um I think that's the way to do it. That's my advice to everyone out there. Yeah. Don't get too crazy. Um get too good been getting too crazy. Oh, here's a, this is a random ass subject. You random. won't know or care probably, but Let's talk about uh, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about how DEI is actually capitalistic. And I was like, this is an interesting take. 
So DEI, for people who don't know, that's a diversity index, whatever, diversity equality index, thinks what it stands for. And that's basically that thing where like you gotta hire gays and minorities at your jobs or whatever, mm-hmm. right? And uh people are like, it's just being pushed by everyone in the movies, and that's why they got all the gays and the blacks in the movies, and then people get all mad about it. And uh Amen. You're like, yeah, I guess so. And then uh but that's like the reasoning, at least for like the Asian stuff, because they push a lot of Asian people, is because the movies sell in China if they have Asian people. But they don't sell if they have black people on the posters. They take the black people off the posters. So that's that's not a DEI thing necessarily. But I just think a lot of times they're doing it because they want these people to buy their products. So they'll be like, oh, if we hire more Asians, then we could sell to Asian people. Yeah. If we hire more gays, they'll sell it to the gays. Like I don't necessarily think it's always like this altruistic we're trying to do everything for fi- it's the same thing with every pride month you know every year and they're like <laughs> rainbow f- they they rainbow flag up their symbol but they don't hey, really man. do anything you know um it's I, I i know i like rfk jr and a lot of people hate him like ron who we had last week hates rfk jr i don't know why i have no idea why but anytime you mention him you can just feel it you can feel how much he hates him and uh he thinks it's crazy anyone would like the guy uh but he had a great tweet of like for all the money they claim they spent on this, they could have just bought everyone like for breast cancer awareness instead of like all the money they donate to whatever research. It's like, well, they could actually just buy this thing and it would help everyone more health. You know, you're mm-hmm. like, yeah, there's a lot of uh performative charity going on around here. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know if DEI is capitalist or not, but it's a way to think about it. everyone acts like it's all, Normally, people act like it's because the left just wants to gayify everything. And it's like, I don't know. I think it probably sells. Like, I think the makeup companies want your boys to wear makeup and nail polish because they'll sell to them. I don't think they want them to be gay. They just are like, well, however, we can get them to fucking buy our product. Right. So if we got to fucking lobby this movie to make all the boys have nail polish or what? I don't know. That's true. I get that more for me. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, I don't like my nails being chipped. I'm, <laughs> I've done my nails done with my mom, like a pedicure, manicure yeah. thing, two or three times. And uh, I just go clear coat, but it does make your nails look very good. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah that does for sure. I look well, fancy as I let fuck. My girl, I let my girl paint my nails up. Like, you want to paint? Let's go do it. Like, shit. Makes you happy. I'm cool with it. I rock that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you had daughters, I think that's forgivable. <laughs> Females love that shit. Like, what? You let your daughters drink your news? That's so cool. Oh, oh. yeah, you love yeah. it, don't you? Give me more points. All the bitches love me. I'm, I'm, all my bitches love me. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> also, our advisor's making a comeback. Uh, we have a college here in our town, and okay. I'd have to drive by it sometimes, and I saw these kids walking around campus, and I saw a couple visors. Oh. The old, you know, yeah. hair sticking out the top, and uh-huh. fucking... So I, got a, I got one visor, a Yankee visor. I've personally always hated visors. Now, I understand if you just have big hair and you're like, listen, that's all I can do if I need to, you know. I always like to flip it upside down and wear it backwards. <laughs> ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> now, I owned one. I had one at one time. I think it was from Universal Studios. but And I would do what you're mentioning, the upside mm-hmm. down flip up where it's yeah. like this. Um, <laughs> but I also used to wear a lot of my hats back. This was like, if you're watching, this to me was like my look in college. For sure. <laughs> was like backwards hat. Also, like takeaway the mustache uh, because i just had like a chin strap um and then at some point in time i matured and then it's like this is now like mature mo uh, i was wearing my hat different modes sometimes and like especially like (laughs) more times than not it's cocked to the side and i don't know if it's like i want it that way if it just falls that way but it's the old man shit it happens like it's just like me scratching your head and shit and i just put it back on and wait like i don't give a fuck then it's like all right the keep gotta fix it and shit that's the old man shit my head be itching sometimes gotta scratch it Go put it back and <laughs> just stick it like, all right, I'm just back to my business doing what I need to do. <laughs> don't look right. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, the vibes are making a comeback, but it seems like a lot of 90s styles are. Um, oh, yeah. Like the big jeans and shit are coming mm-hmm. back, which are awesome. I always love the big jeans and I need to find some jeans. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm going to Ardmore tomorrow. I need to go through the TJ Maxx, the Rosses. Yeah, yeah. I don't get Ardmore got all that shit over there. Like, goddamn, Ardmore, you can build it up. <laughs> yeah, my mom's birthday is coming up. It would have already had by the time this comes out, and I forgot about it. And I so I texted her about it, and I thought she'd be like, "Ah, oh, now nah, we're busy," but she's like, "Yeah, let's meet up Sunday." And I was like, "Fuck, 
Let's awesome. do it, mama. It's like, all right. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to take advantage. I need some clothes. Uh, that's just the way. I love this Thunder shirt, though. This is the last great uh, TJ Maxx and or Ross find I found. Uh, Thunder Games Thunder tonight. Up, baby. So, you know, wearing this Thunder shirt. Uh, they're 1-0 and so far. Hopefully 2-0 and after tonight. The day this comes out, it's their third game. So uh, I thundered it up, baby. Also, and just I mean, this is kind of more on beat talk, but I love the NBA being back. Um, it's way I, I don't know if it's like easier, but like there's some like uh it's an easy like, oh, there's basketball games on tonight because there are every night. That's a great mm-hmm. thing about the NBA. The NFL, I think, is so successful because it's like a once a week thing, basically, for your yeah. team and shit. And it gives you it's like an event and stuff, but like for people that have no life. The NBA is way cooler. It's like two or three times a week, mm-hmm. even more if you're willing to watch the other teams than I am. So like basically every evening, I'm just going to come in here and I put the fucking game on this laptop that we right. record on. And then I make beats or mix music on this other thing. So it helps me be productive uh, while also I'm staying, watching, entertained with my basketball. I feel like a real old man. Uh I just love sports. I love watching it. I just love watching some sports. Like if it's on, like I'm watching. I love watching certain players. I'll be like, I asleep. love watching players. I like just, having the beat thing. And this is probably just part of my ADHD or whatever. But like, I love having something else to do so I can watch and do something else. Because if not, <laughs> I will just fall asleep. I like smoke a fucking few bowls, and all of a sudden I'm in the recliner, and no I'm just shit. fucking passing out. It's the fourth quarter, and my wife's like, "You're missing the end of the game." And I'm like, "Sorry, sorry, I'm waking up." Uh, so you know, Dude, I ain't gonna wake me up. My kids just let me sleep. Like dad sleep, but like, shit, we gonna stay up. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers, y'all know time y'all supposed to be in sleep. Motherfuckers, you gonna wake me up? Let me wake up, pissed off yeah. and shit. And here it is. Like y'all motherfuckers, y'all know time y'all supposed to be sleep. Like oh, dad's passed out, sleep. Like cool. Yeah. Oh, you motherfucker. For my parents, just thinking back to it, <laughs> and I know none of your kids are sixteen yet. They're not like out throughout the night. Probably most not. Maybe they are yeah. sometimes, but yeah, with friends, but. Uh, there was a lot of like, I'm going out with so-and-so. I might be riding, even if I was before I was 16, I might mm-hmm. be riding with someone or whatever. Yeah. And, um, the, you know, my mom, every night throughout my high school, she is sleeping on the couch. <laughs> so she is not going to her bed. She's going to watch TV. She's falling asleep on the couch in the living room so that when I have to come to that front door, mm-hmm. I have to wake her up. That was like part of the deal. Like, all right, wake me up when you get home. And so like when I started smoking weed and shit like that, I'd be like, Hey, mom, I'm home. And I would like f- go real fast by her, you know, <laughs> to like get to the bathroom. Like, got to get to the clone. Got to get to the <laughs> clean myself up or whatever. Um, but, you know, before that, when you're all sweet, you're like touching her like, hey, mom. Right. <laughs> you know, I, you had to be sneaking out like shit. I'm on with loud shit. Like, nope, got the windows and shit. <laughs> I remember the first time windows, she like, caught me. I just claimed, uh, <laughs> and I didn't smoke a lot. It was very early on, but I smoked a little bit. And she smelled it on me and she was just like, oh, I could smell and your eyes are red. And I was like, yeah, because this party I was at, everyone was smoking it and the smoke was all in the air. Got all in my clothes and in my eyes. I wouldn't smoke that. You know, like I just lied. And uh, she kind of <laughs> believed Mama me. Knows. But she wanted to believe me. Right. <laughs> right. So she like she believes it or whatever. <laughs> But then pretty quickly, I'm fucking up a lot. Right. So I start getting caught a lot. <laughs> One of those have been drinking and shit. I see you out there throwing up in the driveway. What are you talking well, that's about? That's the thing. It's like, like, it's dark as fuck. How did you see me throwing up in the driveway? <laughs> I never loved alcohol like that. And But even if I was drinking, because that happened sometimes, there was like this weird, once you were a senior in high school or whatever, yeah, you can drink. Like, I don't know. Like, everyone yeah. just kind of allowed it. And like... Well, as long as you're at so-and-so's house or whatever. So, like, yeah. if I was drinking, as long as I didn't drive home, mm-hmm. my mom really wouldn't have cared. And other friends' parents would be like, yeah, that's normal. But it was like, as soon as they found out you smoked a joint, it mm-hmm. was like the fucking end of the world. Like, it's like, hard, I think, people now, if, like, a kid's coming up now because how, like, accepted weed is. Mm-hmm. But, like, back in the day, it was like, underage drinking, <laughs> cool. Weed, you're a fucking felon. Tolerate underage like, yeah. It was just like a weird like, and I felt that someone smoking weed, I was way better off than those fuckers getting drunk. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like I could just see it, and I was like, y'all are just wrong. Y'all are wrong about this. Right. And so uh, I always had a big problem with the culture, with the culture on this stuff. <laughs> right. But then because everyone was like, well, weed's so bad, then it's like, all right, well, I'm doing all the other drugs too. Then fuck y'all. <laughs> and then you start you doing open, the, open, open the gateway. Yeah, if y'all want me to, if I'm an ass, if I'm this bad. Well, then I guess we're going to do some other shit, too. Uh, yeah. Um, That's why dope's so cheap. Nowadays, though, the kids, they don't they do not do much of it, from what I understand. I know. 
It's going but down. I'd be understand. I can much understand if my kids were doing so. I don't want if they. I hope they don't be doing crazy shit like I was doing. But well, certain ways, I'd be like, I could understand. I, know this I is can a, understand shit. A though. pretty racially loaded thing, but it seems in general in black culture they're cooler with weed, right? Can we agree with uh, that? Yeah, I say so. Um, there's probably still some that are like really against it, but there's way more white people against it. Per Man, I was still never. I was like I said, like like I was thirty. I was like I'm thirty. I was, my, this is my first year. But I, I guess I would mama. say if you were black raising black kids, you probably have this assumption like they're totally going to smoke weed. Yeah, right? I don't like, think like like that. I think like white parents are like we can protect them forever or whatever. Yeah, you know? right. I don't know. Maybe I'm off on this, of course, but um. To me, it's like everyone's gonna smoke weed. Like we talking yeah. about, this is gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't push it. Like, hey, my kids know I smoke. Like my older ones, like I explain, said, explain it to him. Like, hey, you, I know you smell it. Da, da, da. Explain it to him. Like, what happened? Why? Why I'm smoking shit? And like, oh, that's is what <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> it's because I'm fucking cool. That's like, why. Sure. All right, <laughs> they don't even know any other no, reason. I was told like, I'm about to kill my fucking self. So I was drinking so quick and crazy. Then I was like, oh wait, I need to. Talk. One of my favorite <laughs> moments is when I got to smoke weed with Jerry, who I mentioned earlier. Uh, I came back from college. And Zach That's was, the coolest smoking with motherfuckers. You didn't know people, he yeah. <laughs> Oh, I always knew Jerry smoked. Um, I I found his stash when I was a senior. I smoked a little bit when he wasn't there. I mean, I was at Zach, like Zach embodied me there, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, shit, I'll smoke with some of your dad's weed. You know, I smoke like a bowl of it or whatever. <laughs> and uh, but when I came back by my first year freshman year, I started rapping. You know, I was free mm-hmm. sometime, and Zach was like. Oh, I'm taking you to my dad's house. And we went to Wichita. He moved away at that time. And uh, I went and smoked weed and, and freestyled in front of Jerry <laughs> and Zach. And the whole time I was thinking, like, Jerry graduated house in like 77. You don't know no fucking shit about rap music. Like, or not like what I'm trying to. I don't know. Right. He was nice to me about it or whatever. But uh, it was. It was cool. It was, it was cool to, fun times. to get to smoke with the with the old Jerry. You, the OGs, like, it's fun to do that. Like, it's very cooking cool. Yeah, I like I think I think it's, it's like a nostalgia. It's like it's different than drinking a beer with somebody. It's like, oh shit, I can get to smoke with this motherfucker. It's like it's so different. Like this is great. <laughs> uh, sometimes it annoys you, like I I, don't know, I mean I love them. I think they're great, but it always annoys me smoking with Pow Wow and his grandparents sometimes. Because uh, I don't want to. I and popularized the hog leg. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't want to take too it. much. Con- I mean, I understand <laughs> other people in the world, y'all probably do, but for my group. <laughs> And people I, I know in my circle, ding, ding, ding. I ding. popularized the hog leg, which was nah. a big fat fucking joint or whatever, right? It's normally split. Like it's it normally uh, it looks like a club. It's like Bam Bam's club from the Flintstones, if mm-hmm. you will. It's mm-hmm. kind of the similar the look to it. And so Pow Wow rolls them all the time now and shit. It's so all his, his grandparents do as well. And you'll go up and smoke with them when all they roll are huge ass fucking hog legs. And then like halfway through the joint, they're like, we're done with it. And I'm like, there's like three bowls of weed. You're just throwing away. Like, and we're smoking I get, all of it. <laughs> so like, I don't know why it gets under my skin, but I'm like, you, because they're real stoners for sure. But I'm like, no, that ain't how you do it. You know, you we use every way. part of the Buffalo around here. Mm. And so I get so like, oh, Eating that uh, ass. you know, and so <laughs> every time I go hang out, pal, he's got these big ass fucking joints. I'm like, don't you have like bo- pipe? I don't know. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I hate to be like that. Cause I know joints and the blunts are cooler, but you gotta smoke if you do you gotta smoke it all you gotta go down the filter oh, and yeah. shit, you know that's part like, of it i like to get the I'm, get, I'm getting high i'm gonna you kill need, it all someone's gonna have to hit that filter to where you go oh that tastes like that's horrible you mm-hmm. know and then you fucking have to put it out that's my opinion um uh, talk do 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 nasty ass pre-rolls motherfuckers be bringing pre-rolls in this sorry i got this pre-roll Ooh, I'm, glad, yeah, I'm glad ron agreed last week because i mean they're so popular and ron's a, a true smoker too and Pre rolls are so gross. They just taste bad. They don't smoke good. They run like a motherfucker. Um, they're the worst of the weed. Like shit. I know, man. They like fuck. <laughs> like, but I gonna be driving all the time. Be like, oh, if I'm by myself, we're going to one of them games or something. Oh, there's a weed store. I need to stop. It's like I just need to give me a pre roll. Like shit. I need to get on the road. Like shit, I have nothing rolls. Like God. <laughs> I think the pre roll blunts are more expensive, but are probably better. Yeah, because they're. <laughs> I, I know it's weird, but a big part of the pre-roll is they have that cone shape, mm-hmm. and I get it's, like, easier for them to make them, but that's where the fuck-ups happen. You're right. That's where, like, the disjointedness yeah, comes and from. Snappy's, like, had it, like, I didn't even know it's, like, he's got to freak him like a black and mild, and they got to break it, like, tap it on it, squeeze on it, like, Snappy's, like, that, it works better. It's, like, okay, it makes, like, 
can't drive down the highway because that bitch be run like a motherfucker. He's like, um, we look at this bitch, but doing like what Snappy said, that did come in handy. So, oh shit, you gotta freak it then. Like, just like it's like a black and mild. Just freak that motherfucker. And it worked, it worked a little better. Just, and it's like, so it's not. I used to order stuff in black and milds. (laughs) That used to be the shit to do. Because back back, it was like illegal. (laughs) You know, that was like your hidden way. Like, oh, it's got a wooden tip. This isn't weed, sir. (laughs) This was a black and mild. What are you talking about? (laughs) And you always wine. Yeah, exactly. Black and mild. All wine, like shit, what shit chips? Good. chew the fuck out. I be chewing the fuck out that motherfucker like a horse. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't mind the plastic tips, but wood tips like were shit, thought of as fancy on here. fucking eggs and shit. Like, I need something to gnaw. Like, arr, arr, yeah. arr. oh yeah, I'm always chewing everything. <laughs> That's what probably fuck that too. Though. Like, over here, there's gnawing on shit. It's so good. So, so I got freaked out by gum because it bit my fucking tongue. Like, ah, gum and blood. Like, nope, I don't want gum. <laughs> <laughs> no more gum. Yeah, I finally started I don't, chewing gum again, <laughs> like a little bit. I'm trying to, but I <laughs> it's weird. I to forget me. to buy it. I know, but like, I used to love my, them, my kids. Fuck it up all the time because they're fucking my mom all giving them gum. Like it's like a little grandma. Here you go, some gum, baby. Here you go, some gum. Like what the f- what the fuck, mom? What are you doing? <laughs> I was talking about any Halloween candy this year. <laughs> well, uh, Still some Halloween candy. I guess I need to get some before Halloween happens. But I, we normally eat all of it, so I just was like. Well, fuck it. We never have trick or treaters anyway. But it's the scary man's house. We can't go there. <laughs> yeah, we don't have neighbors, and all the town we live in, they only you only trick or treat in the rich neighborhoods. Yeah, right. you know, they don't trick or treat in the normal neighborhoods. That's how it used to be back in the day. I remember my aunt used to take us there. That's why I love. Yeah. I miss her ass. Like we should. Her mom took. Does she never drove? Mom just take. She was like we're all dressed up. She just take us. Like boom, get out the car, take off walk, and just doing shit. Yeah, like, boom. She was happy as fuck. Yeah, when I was a kid, uh, you would. Do the whole town. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm from a smaller town or whatever, but like you would get yeah, dressed exactly. up and like you could just leave your house uh-huh. and just start going. Yeah. You know, and, and then, then you, <laughs> you might get back in the car and they drop you off, you know, in another part mm-hmm. of town so you can walk around there. But it was a lot more pure. Now it's all like trunk or treats and events. Yeah, that's all and, bullshit. You got to be all safe and shit. But then as yeah. you got older, you got to go when you're junior high, you get to get free, get on your bikes and go do shit or just yeah, walk. There's a lot of toilet papering. <laughs> yeah. And shit, egging, but. like leaving eggs out for like a couple of months. It was like, getting oh, yeah, ready we never for egged it. anybody. Well, we fuck some shit up. Like, yeah, he's like, we don't fuck somebody up with this shit <laughs> and take off running. Like, did that adrenaline rush that's running. Like, no, he's chasing us. Like, why are we running? <laughs> like, no, oh, we oh. got pulled over by cops a couple time doing some toilet paper uh cops like the fuck with us uh one of my favorite memories uh we were probably 16 or whatever and we get pulled up we were doing like each person's house it's a friend right. we, like recruit them afterwards or whatever and so we get to my friend boone's house and uh i guess someone saw us at our friend clayton's house the one before called the cops on us they found us at boone's house getting his and Boone's mom comes out and is like, I'm not pressing charges. They're allowed to do that. Like, yeah. let, quit messing. And they were like, no, because we don't like the day before Halloween, like the 30th or so the 31st. Yeah. Like, no, this is Bob. You know, they try to like be all assholes about it. But they line us all up, ask us our names and all that shit. And it gets my friend Trevor, whose last name is Smith. Now, I don't want to do not put anyone's full name, but it's important to the story. And so like, I'm sure I was before him or someone else whose name had to be spelled like Moser M O S E R, and then he was like Trevor Smith S M I T H, and the officer was like, "You being a smart ass?" And like you're like, "No, no, I'm not being a-. like," because right. it was like the first time he's probably been ever questioned by cops like that, and it was just so funny. And then yeah, we got fucked around with by cops for like 30 minutes because of toilet paper, but it was a great memory in right. hindsight, you know. I put that in my repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> God always running into some shit. But yeah, uh, Halloween, I, not because I don't have kids, but it does definitely seem different these days. It seems dead. Oh, yeah. Uh, temperature wise, we set a record. Uh, the hottest it's been up through however long in October. So mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't feel at all like Halloween. Um, temperature wise. Oklahoma, baby, that weather's fucking nuts. What? Well, you say warming. that. Right, but it is a, it is a record for the, the hottest. So I was selling. Uh, I'll bring it up later. I don't even know if I have my list, but I had a moment to share some conspiracies at work this week with people I don't normally talk to. And they're talking about how it's, there's not supposed to be any rain for the next however long. And I said, well, that's what happens when they use those weather planes to mm-hmm. make the hurricanes. And these people looked at me. I was like, I mean, <laughs> but I, I, they weren't against it. They weren't against the theory. Mm-hmm. You know? Hear you, so hear you, my brother. They were like, well, that's not the worst idea. And I was like, well, might be the best idea. Yeah. All right, let's play a song. Get let's caught play up. On. Uh, next one we got is what from the homie Corey. Corey, my 
motherfucker. And the name of the song is Fairy Fancy. Oh, Fairy Yo. He want smoke, I'm with all of that Say it's beef and you ain't hit by none I wouldn't call it that Hit up LMA like nigga shipping I can't fall for that New nigga, tired of them Oh boy, I might call him back Try to find his rhythm I'm like, hold up, they control it, huh? All these niggas pissing bitches Damn, they pop patrol and give them good weed Popping like I'm Dora, I'm not exploring I let a nigga chick on you Work us some decorum Yeah, I'm very fancy Eerie's got my diamonds dancing, huh? Hey, these niggas handicaps And still they stick and stand me, huh? I'm in this position Cause the guy didn't leave me stranded Ain't no hand out, started solo now You see where I landed, huh? I did your average pussy, you below my average pussy Hyping his little bitch like he ain't cheap That's some average pussy Nappy headed capping like he came out of some matter pussy Bitch, niggas ain't that hard, can't even get jacked at pussy Even if you want it, when it consider fun to line up I just did a festival, but back to back I'm in the line up Ugh, If these niggas want to fade, I get the answer line up Ugh, I'm the line leader, little boy, I held the line up huh? Get tourists Seven as the fuck, you can't tell me shit Yes, I'm gay, but if I want the bitch, I'ma fuck the bitch Look at me, I'm close to 17, BCB on the scene Thick nigga, it's giving melanin, B, eat my collard greens Rose gold on this hoe, you know one time I'm clocking niggas They be swishing like Nintendo, keep the ass in dock and keep a switch Sign my black bag, bitch, I'm every poppy Any nigga don't want to get active, bitch We can get that block now, put that on the humble faces, bitch Yes, I'm Chris, I'm rockin', ugh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you won't last, bitch. Huh? I didn't play it by my last, bitch. Huh? I'm number one, you been in last, bitch. <laughs> you know I had to last, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Why? Yeah. Hey, baby, you know the motherfucker. Ugh. Corey. Yeah. Well. Very fancy. That very fancy was very. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go follow Corey. That's yeah, you know, yeah, 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 man. I love that. That's that's nice. I like it. Yeah, cool vibes, man. Mm. I think last time we played, I mentioned the uh, part is my favorite, so I won't try to be too repetitive. But yeah, <laughs> it just really comes works really well. Sounds yeah. good on the beat. Uh, nice, nice, nice production. Nice production. That's right. Round good applause. vision there. <laughs> uh, let's see what I got to mention here. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of drama in my hometown. I mentioned my hometown of Warwick, Oklahoma, earlier. Ooh, and um, drama. I can kind of tell this all to my cousin Shad, who you know, of course. Mm-hmm. So free Shad. Um, I'm trying to figure out. What, I got to start with Shad's part. So Shad, back in the day, I don't know what it was, four years ago, something like that. He got arrested uh, and s- sentenced for like seven years in jail for attempted murder, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh because he tried to run over this guy who was a city manager of my hometown (laughs) and my cousin shad claimed this guy was trying to fuck with his little sister Mm -hmm. and shad was saving her but i've mentioned this before years and years ago shad had this other incident uh and he had this brain injury so he's kind of yeah he's still there but But he's a little different i mean he's not like fully not there like he remembers back his personality back then he just the stuff now nothing stuck i don't think since then you know what i mean yeah and so uh and then like he lost some sort of way to tell he was full so he went from like 90 pounds to over 300 pounds and it was so crazy so crazy um but anyway so he claimed this guy was trying to fuck with his sister and i remember thinking at the time oh that's just old shad still in there like coming up with a reason why he tried to kill this guy or whatever. Right. I don't know I kind of thought it was an excuse to be honest I didn't know because I didn't know the story I didn't talk to him or anything I don't have much uh, I don't talk to the family that all and often and um, but anyway it's come out that the city manager guy uh, I don't know his first name but his last name's Dunn and he is the son of this famous rodeo clown named Rex Dunn who's like mm-hmm. very famous in my area Right. Down, they like billboards up about him and shit. But I remember this kid. Uh, I think his name might be Cody or Coyote or some shit like that. <laughs> Coyote. Yeah. And uh, I remember him being like a little kid. Like when I'm like a junior high, he's like in elementary school, you know, right. or whatever. He's like a little little kid. Um, but I don't know him or anything. But anyway, he became the city manager. So that's who Shad tried to run over. And I was like, oh shit, I was a man. I said city manager. I thought he tried to run over like a fucking old man mm-hmm. or whatever. You know, I thought was, I was like, I didn't realize. 
this and um i just saw all these people post on facebook like oh I'll pray for war he could been hit with all this shit so it turns out this guy's been investigated by ofbi and they found all this child porn i don't know if they found it on his computer if he was making it or if he was in possession i don't know the full details but they say he's like arrested for sexual abuse of minors and they found all this shit like it was like all this crazy shit right and you're like oh fuck and so now you're like well maybe shad was right well, yeah, you know what I mean. Like maybe he was trying to fuck with Shad, Shad now. Like, exactly. Sure. That's what, if that was his defense, talking about that. Like, yeah, I told you, motherfuckers. Yeah, so and that's then, interesting. And then Jefferson County is uh, my town's the county seat of Jefferson County, and I guess it's all being under investigation because since from the first thing that happened to Shad, he was pushed down these stairs. Uh, he was talking shit to the guy outside a courthouse or a courtroom. This guy pushed him downstairs and he hit his head or whatever. And the videotape just disappeared. And all of a sudden, no one knew anything, right? Mm-hmm. But it was like, it fucking happened. Everyone saw it. So uh, there's been rumor with that. And this guy that used to be in my class, he he died in jail there. And so people are like, there's all this weird fishy shit happening, right. right? And so I guess they're being investigated. And people are now thinking, like, maybe this guy got arrested because during their investigation of the other shit, they found it's like, we have to hurry up and get to this part. Yeah. You know, but there's so there might be more cover from my hometown there. You know, there's been long rumors of a lot of corruption with the police where I'm from. But it's yeah. like such a small town that you're like, yeah, of course. I don't there's know. There's a lot of shit, fuckery shit going on. Yeah. Like, now it's coming to light. Like, even when I got in that Johnson County shit, my blog was like, man, there been a lot of fuckery. Even people going to get fucked up in there and shit. You know, right. Like, you are right. So, yeah, I'm good. You motherfuckers didn't do shit to me. Like, fuck. We in there fighting. When I think about that guy I worked with forever, and he's going to, him and his kids are going to get their ass beat in jail. Oh, yeah. And, like, I. T- and ass I, beat played in all kinds of shit. Right. So, people, Mr. Lucky. if y'all missed it, yeah, Hi, Mr. Lucky, Mr. Lucky, Avery Lucky. Mr. Lucky. Look him up on YouTube, Avery Lucky. Um, <laughs> he, he used to tell me in Powell, because he just said by him at work, about how the first time he got investigated by CPS for being a pedophile. And he would tell this story as like a proof he's not a pedophile, right? At least that's how like he would, mm, it seemed like he was it. trying to <laughs> tell, but like you, me and Powell be looking at each other like, uh. Yeah, you're definitely doing that shit. And it was something to the extent of uh, some friends of his and their daughter moved in with him while they were going through a rough patch. And during the, and then that daughter ended up saying this Avery dude touched her, but Avery's like, but I would never, I just like when little girls sit on my lap. Cause I love little girls. And you're mm-hmm. like, well, this is weird to say. Right. So I mean, that's all people are like with side eye each other and shit. And then he got investigated, but during that investigation, he spent three months in County jail or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he would just talk about, it. you could see like, he'd almost be crying just being like, and they treated me miserably, you know, or whatever. Yeah, like, but he's, and I was he like, was, oh, he probably going to be mine. So he probably going to kill himself. <laughs> like, yeah. he's like, that's, like, it's not that I meant for him. Like, I say, him and his oldest son got 20 years. His youngest son got life. Uh, I'm sure the youngest gets even worse because they'll check your papers. And as soon as it gets out that you're, he's there, like, like I said, I think possession of child pornography, but the youngest is there for, Make I mean molesting like, a like, kid, that but like they're they're really being protected, kind of being protected because they ain't got going to gin pop or nothing like that. That's true. That's true. They be like they don't even like them. That's gonna drive them fucking crazy too. Like just lock down, just and you know, also like, nope. and I think about this too much because again I worked with this guy for six years and me and Powell talked about him all the time. But he had this really crazy ass wife too, and I was like I thought like his wife was just as involved with it as anyone mm. else, but she's gonna probably get a. Yeah. Get away with it in some way. Um, like she's the dame. She's the dame in distress. So right. Well, he had he had I'm his wife and he had his daughter and he his daughter was on a pedestal. But that's no. I remember this one so when my brother said when I talked about it last week or the week before where he was like I gotta wake my daughter up at two a.m. and I put her I pull her panties down and put her on the toilet seat and I'm like how old your fucking daughter and he's like nine and I'm like. Yeah, you don't. That's not. Oh, my normal. daughter's my, like that's <laughs> dumb, like my daughter sleeps there tonight. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, why do you have to pull her panties down? Well, uh, she's so tired, she might forget. And you're like, well, why are you waking uh, her up? Let her sleep. What? I don't know. It she's was old, like, she's like she's old enough to sleep through the night. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it was so creepy. Like she got a bladder problem or something. Like no, leave her the fuck her alone. Like if she did, and like, then hey, the one it. that. The molested the kid and guys life in jail. That kid he looked at my little pony porn. I remember that it was a big deal. And then he locked he put a padlock on that kid's door to lock him in there as punishment. And the kid punched a hole in the wall and used that as his piss hole. And then so this guy would come to work complaining about it, and I'd be like, Well, you locked him in his room with a padlock. I can't believe he would say, I I locked my kid up in the room. And then he claimed one that kid escaped, got the cops, cops coming up. This 
Avery got claimed. Cops came and looked at it and said, yeah, that's legal. And he's like, I can do it. And you were like, what the fuck? And the last story I heard from him fuck. before I didn't work with him anymore was he was going on this food diet where previously he talked about how his kids all got like 50 cents to a dollar per meal and they had to do their own grocery shopping. So like they would pull their money for a bag of pizza rolls and they could each eat three pizza rolls per meal. Like I don't, it was like he spent no money on his kids. The whole goal was to get more money from taxes than them. They make this argument all the time. And I'd be like, yeah, that's not good dad shit. Um, so I think his kids were like put in a position to be failures and losers right. and fall into this. So I kind of feel bad for them, I guess, in some mm-hmm. way. But he was moving this thing where it was like a big powder based mill. And it was like, it's all these powders and you mix them in a blender with other shit and you mix different combinations and it makes different flavors. And every meal we're going to eat these shakes with powders. Right. And it was like, and then the whole month's meals, it cost $200 for all month for all five people in the thing. And you were like, y'all are going to fucking die. Like what the, f-? you know, right. I, so he was a weird guy like that. And uh, and I know you've seen the video. The Avery Lucky videos <laughs> is how the best way to explain it. <laughs> you watch that. You're like, <laughs> yeah, watch it. Somebody, like, fuck. If I remember, like, I'll you. try to link it again, but I probably won't. So, uh, But it's not that hard to find. Um, <laughs> the first YouTube video me and Powell ever found of him was one that someone else posted of him when he was in high school dancing on stage and all these people making fun of him. And we were like, oh my God, this isn't, you know, like, oh, wait, it was very funny. Everybody's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, um, he said, let me finish my routine. I'm going to finish y'all. Pretty wild. So we'll see if Rico Charters ever come to my hometown and shout free Shad. Free Shad. Uh, that's, that's where we're at here. You know, he know what he was doing. Yeah. He knew what was up. Well, and Shad's little sister was born when he was like 17. So he's, you know, she's like quite a bit younger than him. And I have her as a friend on Facebook. I haven't looked at her page in forever, I'm sure. I don't know if I'm a friend anymore. But when she was like 11, 12, she was posting shit like she was a 17 year old girl, like way too, like, yeah, big grown too. up. Okay. You too much. Right. Anyway. And so uh, it would not surprise me. If she attracted the eye of a pedophile, yeah. right? The, the yeah, way she acted on the see, internet. Like, that's why I always be like, oh, no, don't be doing this. You get through all these fucking creeps in the fucking world. And, like these girls, like, God damn. Not to slut shame anyone, you know. But that's, these kids, that's how they want to be looked, though. It's like, this night now, respect yourself. Like, don't be doing that well, shit. Well, it's like <laughs> anytime these things come up, like, this girl's missing. And you're like, yeah, she's probably talking to some fucking 40 year old man on the right. fucking internet. Doing fucking. this extra shit. You don't watch your kids, like, letting them do all this shit. Like, fuck no. It is. And I, I think about it every time these goddamn pedophile videos happen where, you know, someone will meet a pedophile and they'll fight them. It's like these guys are comfortable enough to show up. Like, does this happen off? You know, like how often is it? Is it not a fucking streamer attacking them? You know what I mean? You're like, man, that's it's just crazy world. Crazy world. It is crazy. Like, it's like, oh, he's got to be wary, especially like fucking. I know it happened to boys, too. But like it's something about right. the girls like, God damn it, man. But not typically straight boys. <laughs> you know, it's a very much a. Uh, I think the type of predator that like I mean, there's always like getting snatched stuff or anything right, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they get snatched over. Like typically, it's a man. Like the perpetrator yeah. is a man because his penis is involved, right? Right. Like, and so they're gonna go after girls or gay boys because they're gay men or whatever, right. you know. Or there's one. Of, it's one a young child anyway. Just in general, if they're not like like they're it's like they're fucking animals. Like they don't give a fuck if you're straight or not. Because yeah. if you're doing that type of shit, you're just a fucking animal. You don't get put down. What you need to be happening. There's no reforming that shit. Yeah, it's uh, I mean that that for sure. I mean the wood chippers all around, but um. <laughs> It is weird how it's like not to, well, if it was politicized by one party to be like, hey, save the children, children being trafficked. And then instead of being looked at as like, oh, hey, there's pedophiles that are like abusing kids, it turned into, oh, there's mass kidnapping of kids to harvest their blood for these people because they're adrenaline. You know, like it changed like a mm. crazy conspiracy and it kind of yeah. made a joke of the original, like, oh no, but we're still kind of against the like, people stealing kids for sex <laughs> right like right. that I, I don't know i kind of feel like that's part of the man if you will you know and then again mm-hmm. the diddy shit there's more diddy evidence or not yeah, evidence people but keep coming charges out, like like uh, more people more people like god damn well and if you saw the and it's close close to election like you know like what the fuck we're on diddy or the election people don't know what the fuck like right? oh, yeah. well and the new thing of his uh police his call from jail where he's mm-hmm. talking he knows it's recorded he says we're being recorded so I can't talk to you normal. Like he basically just says that. And then he's like, clear out all the pizza boxes. 
and the recycling. Get rid of the recycling. And so the pizza boxes and me and the people are going pizza gate. Child porn, pizza gates real. Uh, you know, and you're like, I don't know. I don't know, of course, if that correlates could have been a coincidence to use that word, uh-huh. but it is what where your mind goes, you know. Yeah. Um now I've never been like a hundred percent on Pizza Gate myself, but I do like the conspiracy and I Pepperoni. hate how the the like Democrat left side acts like it's crazy. They'll be like, You think a pizza place has a basement? Where they have parties and have sex with kids, and you're like, maybe. Oh, that sounds about right. Maybe that that, that only that is like you said about pizza place, like shit. Yeah, and then they'll be like having a pizza party. Kids will love that shit, and they'll be like, that's, that's crazy. Party. And then there's like videos of uh, that guy who looks like the Lincoln Park dead singer's dad. I don't. Oh, <laughs> this is deep conspiracy <laughs> shit beyond the conspiracy <laughs> theories. Don't know about, but uh, Podesto, I think is his name. Uh, People think he's secretly Chester's oh, Chester. dad. Yeah, Chester. And that Chester yeah. found out about the children, and then that's why they killed him. He's also in conspiracy theories. Um, but yeah, there's like videos of him like in drag at this fucking pizza place, like whatever. So anyway, God did show up with an AK 47 or whatever one day, though, and was like, show me the basement, and it didn't lead, end well. Um, but that hmm. to me doesn't mean that these people weren't fucking kids. I don't know. Uh, Never Seems know. like a lot of these celebrities are doing some weird shit. You know, that's I all I'm saying. Celebrity, they they be doing some weird shit. I guess they just get, and having money doing weird shit. Motherfuckers be doing like extra. Well, it's one of those things where it's even, like even these motherfuckers. It's almost like to make you feel grateful you're not rich or something like. Yeah. I'm satisfied with a vagina. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't need all this extra shit. There's like I need one them. woman of age appropriate. Especially all these married ones too. They know that like, we fucking grabbing on each other doing. We're like, what the fuck is y'all doing? Like, you damn. Well, and then it's it's not that's not that funny. is the crazy celebrity side of like the crazy ditty parties, but also just a normal world. This whole uh polyamory open relationship, mm-hmm. we've talked about it for years, but it's it's it doesn't seem to be slowing down. It's like this new sort of like, I mean, people well, if shit. you can't, you don't deserve to keep me unless I can fuck other people. Is I yeah. think they're kind of pitch or whatever. Mm. And that's, cr- I mean, it's just a world I'm not in. So like as an outsider, it does seem like and world's kind of crazy. Like, man, these fuzzy these straight girls, they be doing something like, God damn, you tiptoeing the line. Like, fuck, you're into it. <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck. Well, honestly, that to me is the only time it makes I don't want to say it makes sense. You know what you ever want. Mm-hmm. But the one that I think makes most sense is if a girl is bisexual mm-hmm. and she's like, oh, I'm just trying to fuck girls too, but I want to be f- like with my guy or whatever. Or yeah. other way, guy wants to be with guys, but wants to be with uh-huh. a girl. I get that one a little more because it's like, that's literally something you can't do. But the ones that are like, no, no, I just want other versions of what you have. Mm-hmm. How do you not take that a little <laughs> personal? And then again, if if one of the people are like, oh, I don't want to do it. And so therefore you should find it somewhere else. Maybe I could get that more. But mm-hmm. this idea where someone just shows up, and they're like, yeah, I'm dating other people now. So <laughs> get one line, bitch. Right. That seems a little, uh, it's just a world I'm not in. So to me, it sounds crazy. I was like watching the these bitches. They can, like, and they could be having game trying to talk to another female. They be like, we talking to them just because they, can, right. And like, I think all they, the like, times since with each other, and I shit. think uh, I would say 80% of the times that a girl is like, Ooh, we should have a threesome with another girl. Let me go find one. It's more of a their lesbian desires. Yeah, like oh, it's the it's one not because wanting. they want the guy to like get two pussies. That's because they also want a pussy involved. I think. I don't mean. Of course, right. I've never been there. Um, but also that's like I think of if it was me, in which scenario I'd be like I want another guy involved. You know, like I'd be a different the girl ass, but like as you the yeah. guy that's like, hey babe, I'm gonna bring another dick into this situation. Yeah. You'd be like, what? Now the girl ass, and that was like their fantasy, coach. and it was like, okay, we can fulfill. But it'd be a different thing if you're like, no, no, I think this guy, I just want to see his dick in your mm-hmm. mouth, or you know, you're like, this is all, all right. I don't know, right? It just, <laughs> I got you, but that is how people are. So I think maybe porn's ruined people, and I won't say ruined, but you know, it's affected people to where they have got like, weird fucking like, fantasies. Oh yeah, man, because it, it keeps shaking, keep involving what, and people just keep wanting spicing up and learning new things with the body can do and what you can do. So, oh shit, I can do this and make like man. I think trans porn's the like fastest growing thing on the internet, which is wild to me. I don't want to be mean about it. Um but to, I, it's never been something that's like caught my eye that I'm like, ooh, I've been tricked, of course. I'm mm. like, ooh, look at these tits. And you you're like, oh, shit, that's more than I bargained for. You're right. But, uh, you know, you watch till the end, of course. And, <laughs> uh, but yeah, apparently it's like a really taken over 
people people's mm. world if you want um and i'm sure we're getting close to the porn hub date i still yep. haven't checked in on this i've yeah it's not like i was down to three days before you guys start showing your id oh man so uh we'll see if something takes its place or not you know well hell they guess I mean, they, if you're showing ids people might just go like i'll get an only fan you know yeah that's where people be going to i was like all the other places i don't know if like many vids would do it or not no nah, i think like, it's just porn hub. i think porn i'm trying to prove a point because uh, well, even many vids were like, oh, because they had the same Texas warning, like, oh, it's just like because like certain sites would keep doing well, maybe. The same shit. I think Pornhub owns a bunch of other places. Yeah, not only other places, but then they had their names on it because they got different sites, different money. Because they, 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 people can post their shit on in there and make more money per video, like with their prices. Right, well, I have shit. to research alternatives for the say we go to Cambro. Mm. Uh, X Hamster. We mentioned those last week. Uh, X and X X. I remember like, an old one. <laughs> we'll find this shit. Uh, like, like some red tube or some shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, what's X videos? I guess was the other big popular one. That's the right. one. I was like, there was one that was like huge and it has like the fucking title goes across the top in the middle shit. of the videos. Uh, are we going to blackgod.com? <laughs> that's right. Old school. I just watched the promo video on his website. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would assume if I was black. I would probably exclusively watch the black top videos. You know, I'd be like, oh, that looks like me. Right. right. Like, I would, that makes sense to me. I think it's weirder when like a white guy wants to watch black dudes. Um, but then again, if a black guy want to watch a white guy, one thing it is as weird. Like, so like, I don't know. Like a dude named J Mac, he he be got he got a big ass dick, bro. He be, we might do be fucking bitches up. Like God damn man, uh, why like, J Mac? All right. <laughs> he be up there fucking some shit up. After squatting bitches, he's like a, like like a nigga like straight getting it. Like God damn, go get it then. Big old nigga's like fucking with me. He just know it too. Like oh. <laughs> bald headed motherfucker, <laughs> get you some of this bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Like, well, damn. Figure out where the blow bang scenes will be seen in the future, <laughs> I guess. Um oh, I looked up the origin of Skibbity Toilet, mm-hmm. or the wife did, because I was like, I don't fucking know where it came from, you know. <laughs> Cause I understood basically Sigma's like the best these days and Skibbity's like the worst. And I'm like, I understand Sigma and how it happened. I think it's funny because it's from like a um The Smegma. <laughs> it's like they did it from like an ironic, like it was sort of was a funny joke, it's and then ironic. eventually became it's like ironic. a real thing. But it was like originally, you know, alpha it was people like alpha male, beta males, and that shit. And then someone I personally think as a joke were like, "Oh yeah, well I'm a sigma male. That's better than alpha male." And then that turned into people being like, "Yeah, sigma male is the best." And I'm like, I think that. I just think that was a joke at one time. Mm-hmm. And so now people are like, oh, that's Sigma. That means like it's cool, right? For the kids these days. Right. And then if and it's bad, reads. it'll say it's skibbity. And I'm like, but I don't know the <laughs> skibbity toilet. I didn't understand what. So I, we looked it up, me and the wife. And what it is, there's some shitty music maker. And I say this as a shitty music maker. Um, I think this guy's worse, but he's obviously more popular. Um, made this song called Skibbity Toilet. Or just mm-hmm. skibbity once he is his head is in a toilet. Mm-hmm. And it's so bad that the kids love it because of how bad it is. Uh-huh. And so since it's so bad, skibbity toilet means bad. So that I mean it actually makes sense when you look into it, but when you first share it, you're like skibbity toilet don't make no fucking sense. You know what I mean? That's just shit nothing. Weird, skibbity toilet. It'd be like, what's a song we all hated back in the day? You know, and then <laughs> that became the term for bad i don't think we had a song a bad song we I, some people didn't like Eiffel 65's blue yeah so it'd be like you call everything blue instead of bad or maybe i don't know well but. if you're feeling blue because the around i'm saying yeah i'm so blue right we had multiple I'm blue songs blue. so that wouldn't have worked obviously <laughs> yeah so it would have worked so that sounded sad as fuck so like yeah that would all work they would combine for sure mm-hmm. and you're like oh, i'm feeling blue today so that's like that's like a perfect that's a perfect thing man this thing might sound blue. All right. Um, yeah, let's I live in a blue house. Play another song. I own that CD. I loved it. That's one song. I'm not in skating ring. I'm in skating ring getting down to that shit. Like, uh, uh, skating away. I remember the thinking it was very funny that the CD was red. <laughs> That's what I, I remember the most about the. And I was like, the song's called Blue and the CD's red. <laughs> What kind of fuckery is this? Oh, it's a fucking British fucks. Um, all right, next song we're going with is from the homie Southern Comfort. Motherfucking so good. And Papa. the name of this song is Sticks. We're going with this one because he mentions my name a bunch, yeah. and so it's fun for the lore. So let's give it a listen. Stick to mo. Oh, 
makes beats. Yeah, I'm not a hit maker at all. I'm not, not close. Even close. I don't even pretend to be. <laughs> I just, I just have fun. I do. So cold, I don't make hits. I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks. I see what sticks, I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks So cold, I don't make hits, I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks I see what sticks, I see what sticks, I see what sticks I don't make hits and I don't have writers Mo makes beats but I don't think he likes me Cause I don't write enough and sometimes my rhymes have a lighter touch Rumor is, I might praise God too much <laughs> Nah my bro supports me, he's one of the reasons I be rapping till I'm 40 Not cause of inspiration, it's intimidation So many beats, it would take a nation to ever release all that I've created But he shows me faith, so I write away, and I rap away Like right away, record a bunch of songs, release a song a day Might even have him do a little mix for me Clap every month and make history Just stick with me, get lit with me, yeah Just stick with me, get lit with me, yeah so cold, I don't make hits. I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks. I see what sticks. I see what sticks. I see what sticks. So cold, I don't make hits. I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks. So cold, I don't make hits. I throw it at a wall and I see what so cold. You know I was born by myself. Why not rock the beat all by myself? Why not keep the heat right on my hip? Why not keep her booty at my fingertips? Why not? Flip a table when they flip the script Why, Why not? not be graveyard till I'm in the grave Why, Why not? not remind people of the better days Why, Why not? not give my all till I fade away Why, Why not? not be bald headed My bro got braids Why, Why not? not keep it cool when they anger you Why, Why not? not think twice They got a banger too Why not, Why not live Why? Why not give? Why, Why not love? Why? Why not chill? Why, Why not grow? Why? Why not build? Why, Why not? <laughs> they say so cool. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> So cold, I don't make hits. I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks. What sticks? I see what sticks. I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks. So cold, I don't make hits. I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks. Shout out to slavery. I see what sticks. I see what sticks. I see what sticks. So cold, I don't make hits. I throw it at a wall and I see what sticks. I see what sticks. I see what sticks. I see what sticks. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll put Mo at the end of this. Mo, you want to do this song? Maybe he'll do it first. So he he can just cut out all this part yeah, of talking. Cut everything out. And this could be his verse. After the last hook. He can respond on how I really right messed up a great beat of his. <laughs> or if he doesn't want to do the song, I'll leave this whole part on. Hey, you know, I'll be talking to myself about how I probably hey, made poor myself. use of this beat. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> I'll do it like that. Cause I mean, I don't make hits anyway. Might as well say it while I'm best at. If you a hit maker out there, just know that you're doing something that I can't do. At least not right now. Maybe one day. Maybe someday. Someday, someday. You gotta say that anytime you say someday. If you was an internet friend, you would understand. I just do things like this. That means I'm about to No, go. I don't make it. Hey, to the moment, makes me. I just Southern do things Comfort. like this. Is so cool this. sessions, volume two. So I got me. Motherfucking so cool with, with the sticks. Uh, we actually listened right now to the original version of it, but mm. I mixed uh, his little EP, so yeah, I might put yeah. in the new mixed version that we didn't just hear, but y'all will hear. That's the plan. So, yeah, uh, it, it's exactly the same, just different. Lessons. So, if that makes sense, then it's we'll making roll with that. sense. <clears throat> Popping out coins. That's right. I'm making sense like a change machine. Shushin, shushin. Uh, Charlie. Need to do some cool shit. I mean, uh, yeah. I've been writing lots of lyrics down and like I write the mm-hmm. top alt rock song and then I start writing the lyrics because, like, in my mind, it's like, I gotta sing it like this. Or We're gone wide open. Yeah, I gotta do a Creed version. And uh, so then I wrote these lyrics, and then they're just like one line, and then I never, and it's like my notes are just full of these one lines that are never used. Put all the so, lines together, make one big line. I Split might. that bitch down. A Ukraine, if you will. <sighs> uh, I'm a crane now. 
Yeah, back in the day, it used to do the big, thick ones, you know, films, big old thick Ukraine ones. Uh, mm. And that's how you know Ukraine's cool because literally <laughs> yeah. in cocaine world, a big Ooh. line is called a Ukraine line. Mm. And then the leader of Ukraine goes on TV looking like a coke addict begging for fucking mm. money. So it makes total sense. It, it really does. Mm -hmm. uh, I also remember that Nicolas Cage movie oh, Fuck, yeah. where he sells the weapons. War? Something of war, God of war, God of war, yeah. and they he makes a one Ukraine line in the shape of the of Ukraine, like the whole. Oh, yeah, I remember that stuck out to me a lot because I was yeah. on drugs watching it. I think. Um, anyway, send his brother off the rehab. Not his dad. Yeah, good times, good times. Mm -hmm. uh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Hell of a drug. That fitting all fucking it up out there. You ain't even got the good shit, and you can yeah. be busting it out. I'm yeah. like, oh, wait, I keep it good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> trust me, I'm not against it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fan ain't gonna hurt you. Just, just do too much. For that's how I'm getting that's, all the music done. Like, yeah, uh, fan ain't gonna kill you like that. You just do too much of it, and like how you mix in with other shit. That's when, like, oh, it's fitting. But no, he was doing too much. I know these motherfuckers are in the trash can eating, fitting off all the damn strips of the gummy <laughs> shit. These motherfuckers are still alive. It's just rocking like raccoons in the room. Right. Trying to throw it out like side. <laughs> Turn lights on there out there. And like, ah! <laughs> Take off his fucking. <laughs> what the fuck that is that? Fun, yeah. <laughs> the fin on. The, the fin addicts. The fin, <laughs> fin addict hunt. <laughs> <laughs> take off running <laughs> across from where I work. Apparently, there's a bunch of homeless people sleeping in like the backyard or the garage of some empty right. house that's for well, sale. Yeah, shit. And I'm that's like, well, of do. course, they have a fucking for sale house. Well, people at my job are like, I call the cops, they're gonna show up in the middle of the night eggs. and uh, the fuck with these people. Well, they disperse during the day, mm -hmm. so I could. The sun comes out, they get up and leave, and I don't care, it don't bother me at all, mm -hmm. you know. But other people are like. Well, this can't, you know, this is bad. And I'm like, yeah, I guess, but yeah. I don't like, I don't like when the immigrant, I mean, I understand like the immigrants coming in, they shouldn't have let them in at least this many people. In my opinion, I don't think wait, I think there's too great a number to assimilate in the way we would prefer a simulation to happen mm -hmm. uh, through our normal ways. Um, but now that they're here, if they're going to squat, yeah, squat in an Airbnb or a fucking house that a rich person's selling or so, you know, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I'd rather that than then like, overtaken an apartment complex that poor people live in I don't right. know. Uh, like they should all just go on Airbnb look up Airbnbs and go squat at those <laughs> that makes I mean if I was a smart uh, legal immigrant that's what I would do well then like, well, when we go there like the, that got cameras shit, they'd be like breaking and anything and shit yeah, I don't know. That'd be like, well, then, like, well, what are you gonna do then? <coughs> it's true. Well, like, well, if you got like the cabin, the, well, I, don't I mean, know, well, in a lot of these states, they're they're just letting them go. It's not like it's that big of a deal. Uh, the, the crime, like, they're not charging them with much or whatever. Crime mob, so, hope. Uh, try. Um, <laughs> and we in, and in, you really do lying. See, Skin's getting in rapper mode. He's getting there. <laughs> Oh, I have a new internet hobby. It only lasted one day. I need to get back into it. But there's these like video series of uh, bums versus drones. Mm. So like people are flying drones and fucking with them. And I don't personally like drones. I do think they're kind of invasive and like just an annoyance. And I wouldn't want people hovering over my shit watching me either. What so I don't want to say I'm taking the drone side here. But the bums get like irrationally angry and then turn into like cavemen and start like hauling, you know, throwing shit at the drones. <laughs> and sometimes they take them down and that's that's exciting and then a lot of times they don't and they just look stupid and that's also entertaining <laughs> and so uh yeah drones versus bums that's pretty uh that's awesome pretty good real thing and of course it reminds me fight. of one yeah one of my original favorite internet things which was bum fights and i've heard it talked about on other podcasts where people are like and then those fucking psychopaths who watch bum fights are the real you know degenerate crazy motherfuckers and you're like I don't know. I to me, it wasn't as bad as like the death stuff because there was shit where you could watch people fucking die. I wasn't <laughs> watching that. That was too right. crazy. And I did like the the Kimbo Slice sort of backyard shit, Ooh, but that was yeah. to me bum fight adjacent. You know, you found that Kimbo all together. Slice and uh, but yeah, I would download those fucking bum fight videos on you know Kazar, where the fuck we're downloading them at. Well, I'm wiring shit, and uh, shit. I fucking. Loved it in a way that, like, I knew I shouldn't be watching this. This is wrong. But I can't turn away. But I can't not watch it. And you kind of feel like, well, 
at least in my mind, the main guy was Rufus. That was the main bum. All yeah. right. And Rufus, like a lot of people would use him as being like, oh, they're taking advantage of this guy. But it's like Rufus would just be on heroin doing fucking nothing on the streets. And now he's making a little money playing with some tits and then <laughs> fighting people and then doing heroin on the street. Like, I don't know. Like, it's not like yeah, his life idea, was going to yeah. be good without this. You know what I mean? So, uh, like, uh it's helping him get his heroin. And, yeah, his food. and <laughs> again, people are like, we were taking advantage of like these old mentally ill people. Maybe that guy was, but there was another part of like, it was exposing like, this is what's happening in the world. Well, yeah. What if my girls going wild? Exactly. And and exposing. People, that was also connected a lot. Of girls going wild in that time. And there is a part of it that's like, no, they're taking advantage of these 18, 19 year old girls. But there was another part that's like, no, it is showing the culture that these girls are out there well, going was, fucking wild. And yeah, they were. Yeah. I mean, especially at the break. Those, those girls were going indeed wild. going wild. Um, Feeling freaky deaky, baby. Oh, yes. I could own it. I done drugs with one girl gone wild girl. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. I feel you, brother. Woo. I had a friend Amen. get chlamydia from her. So I did. Hey, yep. I that's that's always the case, too. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. So those are the type of girls <laughs> that run the girls going wild bus. You beautiful, but watch that clammy clapping at you. Yeah. I mean, I was not sure, but I knew that. Sure. So I was, mm-hmm. I kept away or whatever. Like, yeah. We cool. We high five. <laughs> right. Can't hug you. Yeah. This like, time? Fuck you. like oh. you know but some people don't care about that shit. i still remember what, a few weeks ago we had soco on talking about herpes he's like yeah i don't care about herpes i was like what i thought herpes was like a big fucking <laughs> like herpes i see y'all in hell motherfuckers <laughs> yeah i guess georgia's <laughs> georgia a little different georgia yeah see how their election goes is you know i think they're winning. So, so, all of our buddies are in swing Biden states i think i think georgia and, and brad brad's so over politics and I, I can't disagree with you more because I love it. I think it's all very entertaining. I love it. But I he's getting it. like bombarded with like political ads everywhere he looks and shit. Cause it is like Pennsylvania is like a big fucking swing state. And uh, I'm like, yeah, I would be over it too. Like we don't see any of that shit. Very rarely. Swing, swing away. Yeah. Swing, swing underneath. I can't remember the song. Oh, yeah. But there's a kiss me song that starts off like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty good jam, to be honest. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's do a quick. Let's just play a song. Yeah, play a song. Yeah. Well, I'm just looking. I don't want to get. I get hung up on these kids and you shit. Like, I right? We're gonna start making out soon. That'd be no, weird. Uh, what are y'all doing? Now nah, that hey. one of the future plans is, I'm gonna have to. This isn't a for sure thing. Just if Skinny's got to make the money, I'm gonna mm-hmm. manage his OnlyFans page. But I have to get. We mentioned this before. I just got to get real cool with seeing penises. I mean, not that I'm not cool with it. it just would be a new world, you know. It's not something you see world. often in my line of work. Um, but you know, I think we could manage. I could manage it while I have the technical know-how. Yeah. Um, and then Skinny's got the uh, the goods. Yeah. And I'm bringing it. Yeah, you know, I think we could make some way more money. Than we ever been on this podcast. We made forty dollars a month for couple years you crazy know. bitches too like god dang yeah skinny's got the clientele i think mm-hmm. they'll sign up for oh it. is this one like oh my goodness uh, yeah so uh as fuck too. i'm just Damn. that's one of the potential futures this maybe that's what funds the video game this I motherfucker make. said oh shoot this is not fair to you guys you should have met me in my normal state like what are you trying to get back there it's okay You're like hey we do all do some drugs hey we all bump our head like hey you yeah you're gonna get it back it's cool the first time i uh <laughs> <laughs> was with my wife we we weren't married or dating or whatever but i was uh on i don't remember like hydroxy cut or some shit right something <laughs> so i can have my life yeah. heart like yeah like my heart's coming up with tears and i thought i was so bad at the sex and so i just told her i was like i'm now i was horrible it'll never happen you know i, I assume we should never have sex again because i was like god that was one of my worst performances mm-hmm. and i just was did not do good at all um and she didn't all at all take it that way she's like what it's like she came back you know for another moment so uh you know sometimes you can be in your own head about it you know mm-hmm. and don't even talk about it hell so. yeah then it's like, oh then they reassure it like oh, that's, that's all good like yeah good yeah another round cool i'm coming back for some more that's right who wants some more who wants some more yeah. uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> shit all right next song we're going with is from homegirl karma motherfucking karma 
And uh, this one we played very recently. All the rest, these are from episode 92, which we just played, of course, but uh, that's how the best song works. Back. And uh, I know I don't think this song still isn't quite out yet, but it's about to be if it isn't. So um, double plays on it. But uh, the, my favorite Karma track so far, I would say, and that's called Electric Chair. Ooh, I uh, smell them. They cooking so now. So let's uh, give it a listen. Listen up. Karma. Electrifying. Like, yeah, I like that. Mm, 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 yeah, it's there. got the little dance vibes. Yeah, yeah. It made me want to pop my pussy on the dance floor. Yeah. Skinny yeah. pops his pussy with the best of them. Yeah, yeah, the best of them. I'll pull it out of my pocket and it started popping that motherfucker. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> quite a sight to see. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh man, was it, what's the fucking pimp that used to hang out with Snoop Dogg back in the day? Oh, Magic Don Juan. Yeah, it's like Magic Don Juan with his little <laughs> goblet. But he's skinny <laughs> with his pocket pussy. What's up, Bo? <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. It gets all the ladies going. Uh, oh, you know, I'm curious. I don't know anything about this, of course, because uh, mm. I'm not a woman, but. You know, like guys will watch a woman use a dildo and right. they're like hot. Mm-hmm. But That's do girls watch a guy use a flashlight and be like, cool? I feel like they would be like, I, no, I feel like they would think it's not cool because they're haters. Like, nah, it's like you I gotta know? use you as my as my flashlight. <laughs> like, uh. Yeah. You get on a. Uh. Like I feel I like I was like I bitch. think they would prefer to see you use your hand if yeah, they're oh, watching yeah. it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Whereas in the guy, I think normally would be like, yeah, yeah, use a fucking dildo or something. Like you know, what I mean, they're like, you just your hand. <laughs> like I think it's just the opposite. I, was like, I don't care what you use. Like, I like sure. it. It's just sexy how you do it. For sure. Like, oh, just rub it on yourself. Like, oh yeah, get it, bitch. Like, uh, <laughs> jerk this dick off in you, girl. If I can't get it off real quick, like, oh yeah, you can get you this impression. Well, mine just seems like extra work. Uh, but you know, whatever you like to do. Well, yeah. Hey, it happens faster sometimes. Than, right. Know, like, yeah. I got to get this over with. Like, shit, I need to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I got things to do. I remember in college, <laughs> and this is so funny because I mentioned last week or the week before how there was some girl who put a comment on my Facebook 
ball about impregnating my mouth and i was like i can't believe i never saw this like how did i miss this back in the day and i just saw it on memory now i never even saw any of the previous years i'd like mm-hmm. it's crazy um but i remember that same girl at a party once her like all these guys are acting like they could fuck forever you know a lot of guys do like braggadocious mm-hmm. shit which is never my style and she was like i want a guy that can come in five minutes i ain't tr- i'll come in a minute and then you come and then i ain't trying to sit here all day and i remember being like cool attitude all right <laughs> and this was at a time when uh you know, i don't want to brag but back then i'd i couldn't normally i don't have an issue with that it right. seemed like i was smart and i know you said this isn't a some stand-up routine i hadn't seen so i feel like i stole it but it, it was real i just immediately knew like oh as soon as you're about to come just change positions mm-hmm. and so like i just used that throughout my teenage <laughs> into early 20s yeah, no your pump count <laughs> right i was like Oh yeah, yeah. Let's change uh, this. I don't like this anymore. When it's really like, oh, I was just about to come everywhere, and so right. I was like, I got. And but that was like always my go-to. Like, oh, hold on, we must change positions. <laughs> it uh, feel too good. It's like, nah, I get to be feel this. Don't feel. But amazing. that was like the trick. And then girls were like, oh, that lasted forty-five minutes. You're like, that's right, it did. But really, it was like, you know, uh-huh. not that. If you took out all the sometimes you can fuck through position. busting and like, oh, I didn't bust it. I was thinking you go and like, yeah, I can keep it going. Sometimes well, see, when I was uh, younger too, all of it, you know, I always used a condom back in the day. I was very good about that. And I would just come in the condom. I thought that's what you did. I thought you came. I thought that's why you wore it. Yeah. And I had that tip was go, so you could come. And then all the girls I'd hooked up with were like all down with like no one complained about this. And then I'm mm. in college at some time and someone acts like that's cray. I don't remember who I'm, but they're like, no, you don't come in the car or whatever. And I was like, what? And then finally one day i bust through a condom and i was like oh i actually understand the fear now like you know i mean you pull down all of a sudden it's like all at the base like there's uh-huh. none of it and you're like oh yeah that would have been bad if i would have just like assumed that <laughs> <the condom laughs> right. and, and, then added more friction kind of kind of pull it out and leave it in like for sure so you know uh we just i think they need male pills you know just to make you <laughs> But I don't know, that'd probably backfire in some way. Right. Right. Changing hormones up and shit. You yeah. have these more sissy of a man and shit. My like, tits ah. would be even bigger. Uh, big ass tits. It's a good thing about the black, though. The black shirt. You can't even see how big they are on this video, I don't think. Um, no, you can't see me. Let's put, I can't see these boobies. Hey, yeah, make them dance. Like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, I used to do a stupid little dancer. I'd be like, that yeah, was really funny. Put some low riders on your, on your chest and make them dance. Get some tassels. <laughs> Titty tassels. Yeah, it'll be pretty fun. Yeah, tassel um, titty. Mm. All right. Anyway, more shit to talk about. I'm getting distracted. Uh, this week at work, we had like a, a chili day, and so I brought chili, Fucking and I was pretty chili. excited about it because uh, I don't. I've only cooked twice at work now, including this time. Get them jalapenos in and there. And I think the. F- I'm glad you brought it up because I did not, but I did not eat some that had some because I I don't like jalapenos. Um, you, you well, good. previous time I made a smoked pork tenderloin. And it was so good. And no one else that food day brought anything. All their shit was like fucking plastic boxes from Walmart. <laughs> shit, right. Just like Blame fucking no fuck. goddamn thought or effort put into it at all. And I was pissed because everyone, all they want to do is brag about how good come tell me how awesome mine. I was like, fuck. Yeah, it was because I'm not do this shit. And y'all motherfuckers are holding up y'all's in the bargain. I ain't never doing it again. So I hadn't, I hadn't done any. That's been like, a hell year. yeah. And then, uh, I there's a chili thing and I like making chili, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make some chili. I'm fucking with some chili, and uh, I have a certain it's it's just a fucking seasoning kit I get. I don't care. It's called two alarm. I don't remember the brand. It's two alarm chili. Oh, okay. Look it up anywhere, and it's uh, Snappy when he was on here was like, my brother Billy says he used Williamson or whatever. Williams, so I tried that one time. It is the most. It's the blandest, no flavor you're having ass fucking chili I've ever. Eight. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like you can't get it. It just tastes good. like nothing. And if yeah. that's what chili is to you, then that is what you I want. I want mine spicy. I want mine spicy. Yeah. So yeah. I get the two alarm chili. And uh you can basically you put in all the shit, but then there's one packet of red pepper, and it's like put in none of it if you don't want it spicy, put in all of it if you want it real spicy, put in half of it in the you know, whatever. You kind yeah, of so I that. kind of I went about two thirds, I would say, this time. Mm-hmm. And I went with uh, you know, pound of beef, pound of sausage, uh and grilled, uh, you know, skilleted onion, not grilled or whatever. I don't know if right. like call it caramelized, and then some Rotel tomato paste water. And then, <laughs> uh, anyway, er, mine was all gone. Well, other people had a lot left, so mine definitely got all eaten. And 
I was going to try everyone's, but the other lady who had the venison one, it had a bunch of jalapenos in it. And it, if it just had a jalapeno, I sort of tried it. But there was something about the aroma. It hit me so hard. I was like, like cleared out my sinuses immediately. And I was like, oh, this is. And it wasn't like in a good. I don't think anyone else used chili powder. So I think this is a big part. For chili, you should be using chili powder. That's the flavor of chili, you know? And like these other people, it's like they just were like, ah, oh, we throw meat in a <laughs> thing, right? Like there was no thought. I don't think, not to hate on these yeah, older ladies. Yeah, this is right what happened. And um, close enough. <laughs> so one was venison with a bunch of jalapenos, and the other one was like the Williams thing. It was just very yeah. bland and nothing. And that's then, not very old school shit too. Like the like I was in there. Oh, that's what they like. Just said it's like been around forever. <laughs> so right. we would use it. It just doesn't taste like much. Um, yeah. So I would have they to recommend. Don't, they don't need that spicy shit anyway. The, old, the they motherfucker probably need to be in a diaper if they eat that spicy shit. Like they don't. Run oh well, them. I know mine's a little spicy. I don't love spicy food, but I like a little bit because uh, my little bald spot will start to sweat and I can feel it and it's all damp. Yeah, and like, I'm like, I get little beads with my head, my nose, right? Like, yeah. I'm like, like, like a little puppy dog, wet nose, but. <laughs> My coworker Ken, who never eats because he doesn't wear his teeth or whatever, so he never participates in food days, but he came and ate some and he gave it a heads up. He's like, it's hot in here. So, I, you know, it's a little spicy for him. Um, but this one lady who was like, well, y'all, I can't believe y'all started. I don't have my cornbread here. And it's like, listen, at a work food day, you've got to show up with the food. And she's like, my husband was supposed to bring it. So we all are all done with the fucking chili. Wait on her cornbread, broccoli cornbread. I cannot stress how I'm... And motherfucking broccoli. You would think bread. this is a woman I don't really know. And it's like with a bunch that of other older ladies bread. I don't really work with often, but right. we all work in the same building. And I just can't hold my tongue. So everyone's like, You excited? I go, that sounds absolutely disgusting. Like to her face. And she was like, Oh no, my kids love it. It's great. And I was like, All right, we'll see. And so I get the smallest piece possible when it finally gets there. And I'll be honest, it isn't the worst thing. It just doesn't taste like cornbread. And it's basically Jiffy cornbread mix, which is the best. So I'll give her that. But then she makes sour cream, cheese, and broccoli in with it. So it turns into like a weird mushy type. It, yeah, the texture is different. Exactly. The mm. texture is like a, a wetter. And so that's why <laughs> I talk. wet cement. I was like, it's like a wet bread. You know, it's not, it's all like Ooh. a fluffy corn bread. And she was like, well, you're right. You're right. So uh, I had to eat my chili, which is Fritos, but it was delicious. I uh, And then like I said, it was all gone. So um, I feel like I want chili day. That's what well, I was getting yeah. to, basically. You know, it wasn't an official competition, um, but that is how I felt. I'm about to bring to the resistance. Um, all right, other shit. Oh, I mentioned basketball earlier. I guess I had other basketball shit I could have brought up, but uh, it feels like the offseason was super short, I guess, because the Olympics happened. But it feels like basketball was just happening, you know? So when it's back, you're like, fuck, this is crazy. That just feels like a really short turnaround, but I'm excited. And then the WNBA is going into a, um, like a negotiation or a strike, or they're pulling out of their agreement or their okay. player thing or whatever. Um, it's a weird one because I, I personally agree this $70,000 a year for a professional athlete isn't enough money. But I also understand they do not make money. Like the WNBA does not turn a profit. The NBA has funded it uh, for the last however long for the, the future. Someday it will turn a profit. And I think part of it's to grow the fandom of women. So women watch both. So I don't think it's like a, a yeah, complete loss it seems or like whatever. It's coming more alive now, too. because these- right, But even this last year, the highest ticket sales ever, the, all this shit. And it still lost money. It still wasn't profitable. Mm. So like it's going to have to keep growing. Um, but I. I guess so. I guess what I see is like, yeah, you're already paying for all of it. Why can't they make one hundred fifty thousand a year or what? I don't know. Something like seventy thousand dollars a year when they have to live in like an L.A. or a Chicago or a yeah, yeah, seventy thousand dollars a year where we live, you could survive. But not even in Oklahoma City, that would be tougher. You know, it's like just rents more expensive and shit. So uh, I don't know. I think it's a double edged sword thing. Like I kind of agree with both sides. Also, I think Caitlin Clark. Um, should not play in the WNBA. She should go overseas, go make a bunch of fucking money. You'll make way more money overseas. They pay their female athletes in these other countries a mm-hmm. lot more. And I think she should just to kind of... It's crazy she could have the effect she had on their viewership and their ratings and all the money they made. And then people still go out there like, she ain't nothing special. Yeah, and they're kinda, like... They gotta fuck her up. They kinda, it's just trying to hurt her. Like, like, what the fuck? They just eat. They it is weird. Her up. So I kind of think if I was her, I would just go make money somewhere else. That's what Diana Taurasi did back in the day. She went and played in Russia for a few seasons, made more money there than she made her whole career, and then she came back. So yeah. mm-hmm. uh, Brittany Griner tried, but she sp- took that bait pin, and then we had to give a fuck. The guy, the movie, Lord... 
what the fuck is we talked about earlier at the Nicolas Cage movie? Uh, I got God of War. God of War. That that guy that that movie's based on is who we traded to get Brittany Griner back. Hell yeah. So that guy who is the <laughs> God of War for oh, trading Lord weapon, War. Lord of War, whatever Lord the fuck War. it is. Lord of War, you Lord might be other. God Lord. of War is a video game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I keep saying it. There's Lord of War. Like, God oh, dang. So God, was like, no. I don't think Brittany Griner was worth it. Also, she well, posts yeah, topless pictures and claims she's a man. And that's the go play in the NBA. I don't know. I guess that's opposite what we're all saying about the other transgender way. So I guess she has to stay in the WNBA. Um, but anyway, that's some sports catch up. That's and then a uh, celebrity thing you thought you might know about. I've caught up a little bit this morning, but something happened with little Dirk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got so, the um, fucking murder for hire shit. I probably mm-hmm. heard two little Dirk songs in my life. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying the against it. I just don't listen to it. I, I miss that wave or whatever. Um, but I know a lot of people really liked him. No, yeah. he, now he know whatever. Mm-hmm. But apparently his fr- his homie been wearing a wire for a while, and there's they, so much shit going on with it. And they caught him and like uh, for four, murder like for five thing. more people. Like shit, look, and it's probably people. all tied to the King Von guy I mentioned weeks ago, who people said was a serial killer, and they're glad he's dead. Apparently, this was like all he told them they had to kill this guy for some reason, and so even though, so he's like fucking them from beyond the grave in some way. Um, yeah. and I just saw this morning where he could. It could be a death penalty case, given yeah, what it is. Right. So, because like, that'll make him his and listenership him and, go him up. And Vaughn were facing like him, Dirk and Vaughn were facing like a already facing like attempted murder or some shit together anyway, and like so they got a pretty close connection with shit. Yeah, I just I don't know. I like, I'm, that's not my nature, so I know it's hard for me to even imagine it. But if you're like already doing, being pretty successful in music for you to be like, oh, you know what we should do? Gangster activities and ruin it all. Yeah, I just I, I understand they think they're doing it to like save their career or do something for it, but I don't know. It just seems like you could see like how like, like, oh, we're going to fuck this up. Like, y'all, you're pulling everybody out. You're the you're the key to this shit. Now you're right. going to fuck it up. And you shouldn't have to do that. Like, these motherfuckers, if they real motherfuckers, I was like, I, I got this. Like, shit. Right. It's let like me, when Lil Wayne's me. gun charge, he was right. pissed because no one else took the heat, and he should have been. Right. All those motherfuckers on the tour bus that aren't Lil Wayne making the money, any of them yeah. should be taking the heat. Yeah, so he could stay like, out of jail and make that money. It's like somebody just that's should, the rules. And the other motherfucker just like, hey, I'm a soldier. Let me go do this shit. And like, now nah, you know, I speak on it because hey, this motherfucker is everybody's eating. My family's eating. This is eating. No more Wee Bays anymore. Isn't that his name off the wire? Wee Bay? Isn't that who right. goes to jail? And uh, he's the dad yeah. of the shitty kid later on. Um, <laughs> These motherfuckers, it's it's wire knowledge. Like having all these motherfuckers that only hit one person, all these fucking y'all can't shoot for shit. Like, damn, <laughs> it pisses me off. Yeah, um, like, uh, y'all shooting y'all, y'all motherfuckers, and y'all only hit one person, then hit bystanders. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it is crazy how in effective drive by shootings are. Like, you ineffective, know, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> Their hit rate's not that, at least in movies and shit. I, mean, I don't know in real life, of course. I'm involved in like, movie, you, there's like you're you're moving. There's like and there's the air, the wind trajectory. Like, hey, they're not gonna fall right. You're not. But it always seems like I mean, it's like twenty five foot away. You know, it's no. But, but you're it's like they're still moving. Like you got to think about it. like, oh, you are gonna aim? You don't you gotta aim that shit lower because that shit's gonna go up higher. You gotta aim with your target and shit. How you're moving in the vehicle and shit right. and timing and stuff. It's like shit. Oh yeah, this is my target. I'm gonna go by fast and shit. You gotta get that timing down. Your speed, your shooting. Like what kind of weapon you're using. Like you gotta be like. But they don't take all that shit into play. Like some science behind that shit. Dumb they, they they don't even think about. It. That's why motherfuckers be getting hit over there and over there. It's like what the fuck is happening? We're shooting right at them. Like no, you're not. You're thinking you are, but it's not how that works. You have the timing and everything. Dumb fuckers. There's this old military sniper guy who plays. <laughs> So you know a lot of these. Uh, it's one specific game, but he streams. Oh yeah, some see, of, I seen him, and uh, he's always very funny because he like you know, <laughs> he be fucking himself. some shit up. Yeah, he's so good, and he like uses his real life sniper training I guess, to, to <laughs> right. understand how it works. Because now the games are so realistic, uh-huh. yeah, like he knows or whatever. Um, 
But yeah, I like seeing old people kick ass because you got to yeah. do it a different way. You can't do it with the quickness. You got to do it with the strategy. Yeah, this is how you play it out. <laughs> I ain't be quick. I'd be, I be strategizing that shit. I think like, no, it wouldn't be like this. It'd be like this way. <laughs> like, I'll probably never play a Call of Duty game again. I haven't in 13 years. I saw it pop up in my Facebook memory mm-hmm. where I was like, I'm done. I played Battlefield 3. It's over. You know, and I, since then, I haven't played Call of Duty. Oh. And I haven't played Battlefield in a long time either, but I just don't play those type of games. But if I did, I would be a camper. I'd find mm-hmm. a little spot where I'd just lock yeah. in. I'm you like, fucking camping. You run around the corner, I'm shooting you. You know, I'd be all. Boom, one to the head. You know, you know he did. Be one of those annoying fuckers. Like, dual shotgun. <laughs> Babooey. Akimba. Akimbo. Uh, I don't remember what it is. Kakumba. <laughs> uh, these used to be the, how you carry two shotguns. And you'd be like. <laughs> I'm dual and barrel. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Um, Here's some shit I don't like. This is what I don't like. Exactly. Um, adults who act like it's cool to sleep late. Man, yeah, fuck all that. Now, me and Skinny are biased. I'll be honest here. We don't sleep late. Hell so, no. therefore, we are the early birds, if you will. Mm-hmm. And I don't even mind if people do sleep late. Right? Mm-hmm. I just think it's annoying when you meet an adult and you're like, I sleep till one o'clock. And they like think that makes him cool. And you're like, that isn't cool. Right. Like that's like weird, lazy slob behavior. I don't know. Like you I don't know. As an adult, it's just not a cool yeah, flex. Like, like this one girl. It know. wasn't cool as a teenager. You just couldn't help yourself. So you had to lie and pretend it was cool. But guess what would have been cooler? You gotten up and been productive. You just don't mm. want to then because you're you know so like even me, like I just fucking woke up like about ten o'clock. I was like, oh shit. It's like now nah. it's like my day is wasted. That's what I felt like. like fuck yeah. I was like, fuck, man, my day is wasted. Like, God, I felt sad and shit. Like, man, I felt good to sleep in. Like, but I felt like my day is wasted. I'm so used to being up. <laughs> to me, if I need extra sleep, I'll just go to bed early. I can do it the other side. I'm like, I'll just Go crawling bed about nine o'clock, Man, if I ten just o'clock. Let me get still on set somewhere. I just fucking fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to come like we what know that. Fuck? Well, that's like if we're gonna do another three person podcast, uh, like if Snapper someone ever made it. I love the setup we did, and this camera's fucked. I don't know if you watched mm-hmm. last video, but yeah, it was I all blurry as shit. Because Philly, you can squat would... it, you can like squint, and I'm fine. But normally, like that camera's fucked, so we got to just use the one. Mm-hmm. But the th- you back here is perfect, but it is a danger. You may. Fall off of right. it, so uh, we'll see what happens. It was fun, like, and, like we're watching it when Philly like posting shit, like did some little takes of it, watching it. Like I was like, oh yeah, it looked great, man. Yeah. Like everybody's so clear, like it like, worked out perfect. Yeah, shit, I think now Mary's up in there, it's like 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 she dig high, like it's like she smells my dick. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, now y'all know what smells around here. Um, Sorry, it's my dick in here. <laughs> So yeah, we don't have many left, but if we ever have a third here, uh, we'll probably Ooh, go back a third. to it. Yeah. I have time for some shit. Uh, yeah, I would be against it. I mean, in the right scenario, I guess. But I mean, we're trying to make it happen. It's like, shit, the mushrooms kick my ass. Like, God damn. Like, Ugh. <laughs> Say, hey, bro, hey, dude, we can make it happen. I don't give a fuck. I'm just melting right now. <laughs> hey, get a warm it up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Like, let's, let's do this. <laughs> Um. <laughs> see if there's anything else I need yeah. to talk. About. Oh, I talk about. I'm not gonna play the full jingle, but I have a few video game things I can talk about, and then we'll play a song. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. One is I meant to bring up last week when Ron was here because he might have had knowledge about this game, and I just forgot to write on the list. But it's called Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, uh, this game looks like a fucking anime. Uh, story based game whether they're called visual novels i believe mm-hmm. um where like you know it's just anime chicks and it's like text and you're reading it and you're making decisions and normally the goal is to bang one of them or whatever the <laughs> fuck and this one's been recommended to people forever since it came out because they're like this one's different it has a big twist in it and i've li- earned on many video game podcasts so there's a big twist and they're always protecting the twist so like we won't give it away but it's definitely worth playing different than all these other games or whatever and so i'm like you know what Maybe someday I'll play it. Never bought it, but then they gave it away as like a free monthly game on PlayStation Plus. And I was like, well, I've heard a lot of great things about it. It has like a nine out of 10 across the board or whatever. And I was like, I'll give this one a shot. Play it. It fucking sucks. I mean, I'm playing it for a while. And I look it up and I go, when's the twist? When does it get good? And the right. people online are like, oh, you you know about someone was like, I'm three hours Midway through. <laughs> they're like, I'm three hours in and it still fucking sucks. And I was a like two hours ago, I'm looking it up and they're like, Oh, you still got a little ways to go. And so 
getting closer. I will spoil it in case anyone's gonna want to play some band. You want to skip this? You can. There you go. But uh, eventually, you get to a point where one of the girls is like in love with you. She's like your neighbor or whatever, and then she hangs herself. And so, like, it shows this anime girl hanging herself. And with the music, it is kind of like shocking when you first see it for like half a second. And you're like, okay, someone hung herself. And then the game restarts. And that character is no longer in it. And it's just the only, you know, the other three are left. Mm. And then one of them is like a virus in the program mm. that's like taken on out or whatever. And I just was like, that's it. When they said the big twist, I thought it became like a different genre of video game. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, it becomes like a fucking third person shooter or it's going to become like a, you know, a tactical RPG or something. But no, it's just the it's the exact it's just still a visual novel. I'm like, this isn't special or gr- I'm sure many have done something like this. I don't know. It just that's probably the most overhyped games I've ever given a shot to. Because it's like, man, everyone acts like it's just such a big twist. And maybe mm-hmm. I don't know. I was like, this is nothing. This is nothing to it me. It means nothing uh, to me. So anyway, fuck Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> that's my takeaway from that one. Doki Doki. Also, I don't appreciate a game that's like it starts off. This is all these characters are adults. You, you're in a high school. One of the girls are clearly 12 years old. She's a child. And then the other two are like 14 and they have big tits. So you're like, maybe yep. they could be, but you're in high school. You're like going to a high school. It's like part of the whole fucking story. So mm-hmm. it's just awkward that you're like, oh yeah, try to fuck these high school kids. I don't know. It wasn't for me. I didn't like it. <laughs> um, and then I don't like it. I kept trying WWE 2K24 because I have nothing else to really play. And um, I, I've tried, I made a creative character and done a few of the different modes with that. And it's fine. I don't, there's just not enough to it to make me love it, you know? Cause even like when you're like, okay, I'll do this week or the next week or the next week. And it just feels like every week you're just, they just make you fight. So like, there's not like a story there. There's not like a, I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot of potential that it could be a lot more than it is, but right. maybe I have too high hopes. So uh- I'm going to have to give up on that one, but I just don't have a big, I haven't really played video games this last week much because I just don't have um, much to play. And I've been working a lot on music. Music's been a big, big focus as Skinny heard all the songs the other day. Fire. Uh, been working on those. Um, and then, oh, I found mm. one of my old favorite TV shows from high school, which are about video games. Uh, I've been looking for this for years, I guess not in the last 10 years or however long it's been on YouTube, but I finally found them all on YouTube. Uh, but it was a show on G4, which was like the video game channel back in the day. People don't remember. This was like pre-YouTube. And uh, on G4, they would have like video game reviews and shit like that. But there was a show called Icons. And I love this show, Icons. And I could never find it to download. And it still can't. But someone found it was assembled them all on the inter- on YouTube. And they put them all in one playlist. So I've went through about eight or nine of these already. They're only 20 minutes long. So I could knock them out pretty quick. Um, but it's great. It's just old school, uh, you know, old style TV where it's like, here's like a mini documentary on this video game or on this creator or some shit. So shout out the icon show on T on G4. Um, in hindsight, of course, you want it. To, you wish it could be like deeper and have more information, but it just doesn't because it's only 20 minutes long. They could only talk about so much, but it's good. It's good shit. Um, all right, let's play a song. Let's play a song. And then whenever uh, I get back or we get back after the song, I do have a top five list. So we got our top five. Might do that one. It's be one where I probably should have been looking shit up to show skinny mm. references for shit. But well, we'll see what happens with it. We'll see. And um, all right, mix it up. Next song we're going what with. We talking about is gonna be from Bradster X. Bradster motherfucking X. <laughs> just perfect after yes. the video games. Um, he has lots of plans. I, I have a note here to mention about oh so guy. much fucking music we're working on. And me and Brad, one of those is a project together, mm-hmm. but he also is working on a bunch of other music too. Project and Brad. it's just so much. Sometimes it gets overwhelming and you're like, God shit. damn it. Why are we doing so much? But you know, uh, the pain is what we live for. And the pain makes some money. So like Brad Sir X greed Ooh. is the name of the song. Let's check it out. Let's check the greedy motherfuckers. Let's face it, Mario, you were dealt a shit hand. But, um, sometimes your luck can change. I mean, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I was, you know, I started with a shit hand, and I ended up with a, you know, a full house. Okay. I mean, the key is, you gotta hang in there 
Man, you gotta keep placing your bets. Keep placing your bets. Took over the older I got. I got everything to gain, nothing to lose. Wanna find out? Ever dig yourself a ditch you couldn't climb out? In the midst of it, just sitting on my couch. Do anything for a come up. Get a dollar, try to double, but I'm only finding trouble. Tried so many jobs and been on the side hustles. Been on the grind, shuffling behind, but inside it's all. Spending more than I make I wanna count my money up But according to weight I got that collector's buzzing Like a hornet invades But I ignore him till in court Say I'm poor and debate It's all free, free, free. It's like the more that I get It's not enough Keep going till I spend it all quick I want more but I got what I need A good girl with me and weed But money's what I fiend Motherfuck I got free, free, free. I'll do anything for cash free, free, free. All I think about I want it back free, free. When I got no money Sad. Do what I gotta do, don't care if anybody mad I'll do anything for cash Want it now, want it fast Do what I need for a bag Chasing money that I lost that I never really had Try to save a bit, but I can't I want my pocket so stuff starts splitting my pants But I got problems with the car Getting to work is a chance I still make it like it's perfectly planned Because I'm all about when I wake up, homie, dollar signs in my eyes like my favorite emoji. Come for you straight, take what you owe me. One look, got you shook, get cooked like elbow macaroni. It's all free, free. ups and downs when I move around crypto. But I'm pretty sure this one will hit though. Then I bought a scratcher at the get go. I know that I should quit though. My life is such a shit show and it's all because of free, free. One day I'll be rich, either that or die poor in a ditch Think I was born with a glitch, fight for it till I'm sore and I'm sick Waking up every morn ready for war in this bitch All for free, free, free. I'll do anything for cash free, free, free. All I think about I want it back All day. Free, free. Yeah. When I got no money I get sad ah. Do what I gotta do, don't care if anybody mad Fuck you. Free, free, free. I'll do anything for cash yeah. free, free, free. Want it now, want it fast Brad Zerax. Yaw. That's right. It's Wall Street shit. <laughs> yeah. Brad's tapping in. They're going to take your right. next. Well, yeah, I mean, he's uh, suck manifesting, up. if you he will. manifesting in the attic. And I don't know if that's actually out anywhere or not, or if it's going to be on a product. I don't know what his plans are on the greed. So. The boy in the attic. I have no, <laughs> no idea. Um, wasn't there a movie, Kids in the Attic, or something? Something like, like that. Ooh, aliens and attic. No, no, no. There, there was one where flowers in the end. There was one where we were a little kid, we were young, and it's like kind <laughs> of like yeah. incestual. Mm. It's like they, uh, and I remember it was like a weird fucking movie. People reference it a lot as being weird, uh, but I don't remember what people the name is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't um, know. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with all the old movies. There's so many. Yeah, I, know. Uh, I get tagged all the time, or not tagged in my algorithm. It's like the old, you know, '90s movies you forgot yeah. about, and I know. 80% of them but every once in a while you know there's one that you're like oh, oh fuck I, I'd rather <laughs> forgot or I never knew this existed and they watched know? it once or something like oh right. shit there's not like a rewatch she's like I bet I watched this shit <laughs> yeah well there were certain things that also were just huge like I thought of uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead yeah. or oh, like, yeah. that was so big and I no one that talks about it. but I remember that was like, like I felt like that was such a huge deal when I was yeah. a kid people always talked about that shit uh, but also it might have been your local movie store you know so like I have no real memories of Thundercats, except I rented a Thundercats VHS from the video store, like right. obsessively for like a year, I guess. And uh, well, they, they were way early too. Like Thundercats was like the yeah, early I just didn't, like like in the eighties. At right? that time, I didn't have. We only had Fox, so like we that was the only channel we had. Yeah. And then I remember Louie coming on Fox. <laughs> yeah, well, there was a. Uh, 
it's weird to think like network TV. There was only three channels and Fox came out like, yeah, we're going to add ourselves or whatever. Mm -hmm. But without Fox, so like, there was a time I guess where I grew up, you didn't, you just want to have the other channels. Like right. they're just, now maybe they get more now with the antennas, but back then that's yeah, all you, you could get. Shit. And uh, yeah, it was. But it seemed like they were got like, these antennas everywhere. Like, I guess you got all these boosters. Like I guess you can't be picking up shit. Well, I got uh, a few, a couple of my house and you can get the three Channel 10 has three channels, 10.1, 2, and 3. And they're pretty easy to get with the antennas I get. But to get them once from Oklahoma City, you got to get like something on the pole above the tree line. And then you can get quite a bit from there from what people claim. But right. then that's it's that's a whole other thing. So mm -hmm. I don't really worry. I'm good enough with getting uh, it's NBC, CW, and ABC. <laughs> so if you need a recommendation of an antenna, I'm sure I could let you know. But you just put them in a window and it fucking works. Right, picks it up. Yeah. Uh, at least that's my it works here in my two TVs but there was like four months last year where it, it, none of it worked at all and I just thought all my antennas happened to go out and then one day I checked and I was like hey it's working again so I don't who the fuck knows what's going on but yeah it's weird and I, I think what people claim and this is just off Facebook pages of course is that that place down in Texas which is what the channel town I'm talking about it it pays for the rights for ADA but if they didn't, then Oklahoma City could, then we could get all the Oklahoma City channel. But since it's like they're not allowed to put a tower closer to us because of some fucking laws of <laughs> some, some shit, bullshit where I'm like, shut the fuck up. Just let me watch goddamn Shark Tank or whatever. The fuck. My motherfucking Shark Tank. That does happen. Like, every once like a Friday night, I'm not doing shit else. And I'm like, all right, I'll click over to ABC and it's Shark Tank. And oh, all of a sudden I'm an old man watching an old fucking episode. And you're like, yeah, I'll be into it. When word is early days, it was real. And these days, because uh, a few of the judges went on other sh podcasts and stuff and talked about it, where a lot of people come in there just for the publicity and mm -hmm. they don't even want the offers. Right. And then, or like they've lied about all their books. And then, so when the show's open, they go look for their books and they realize they lie, all the deals get canceled because they, you know, weren't honest or whatever. And they're like, I guess early on, it was more real entrepreneurs where now it's people trying to get rich quick or whatever right. um, scheming motherfuckers exactly <laughs> scheming is exactly it no way um all right let's play the top five g i'm going top, top five, five favorite tv actors i fuck with oh so i did a TV i did a movies mm. actors before i know they're all the same these days but to me i love tv shows way more than movies like mm -hmm. uh, significantly more and uh there's certain uh, guys, my criteria here before I played you was people that I see, if I see them in that show, I'm like, well, I'm going to watch it. Like, that's how I feel. Like I see they're in it. I bet they're in something good. Let's give it a shot. So like, that's the t top five favorite TV actors I fuck with. Uh, let's listen to the old jingle. All right, top five list. Yeah, top five, top, top five, 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 um, five. Like I said, I'm I think of myself as a pretty big TV show fan, especially about people I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know about the grand oh, yeah. scheme of things, but it's kind of like back in the day when you before there was online gaming. I was good at video games compared to all my friends. Mm -hmm. And then you get online, you're like, oh, there's motherfuckers that are like really good. So I don't know if that's the same. Like, I don't know how I rank to like the world of my TV knowledge, but the people I run into, I, I'm pretty knowledgeable. You know, like I've watched a lot of them uh, and I, I know a little bit of the insights and shit. So, uh, but yeah, I've definitely watched a lot. So not all of them, of course. And there's some shit I hate, like Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. People love it. I think it's overrated as fuck. It's a thing. You know, it's <laughs> weird. I don't know why I have an odd take there but it's just the way it is um i just can't it's kind of like scrubs when i was young people love scrubs and i was like scrubs mm -hmm. is not funny like and then it's like it never was consistent the guy from weird science was the only one funny on it and i know that's a weird way to say but you know the older mean oh, the, doctor the, the, oh, okay the mean one uh that's like always giving him shit he's good but everyone else sucks on it and then nowadays it's fine getting it's come up as people are like scrubs is just racist and sexist jokes it's not you're like, yeah, because there's only a good story there. Anyway, fuck scrubs. Um, <clears throat> but that happens sometimes. But in general, I think I have decent taste. Uh, but I'm going number five on the list. I did pull up pictures of all these people, so I'm going to show Skinny event you know, after I say them. 
a good bit will pop yeah, up on the screen yeah. for people. Uh, but number five on my list, I'm going with Jesse Plemons. Mm. Now, Jesse Plemons uh, is I used to call him dumb Matt Damon, but I'm trying okay. to put respect on his name. Put respect on him, baby. And so I'm going to go with Jesse Plemons. He was in the TV show Friday Night Lights. Oh. as Landry the Killer Clark is what I call him. Uh, mm. And he's also in Fargo season two. He's also in a lot of movies these days, so he's probably more of a movie actor, but I love him in those shows. And, uh, you know, this is number five, but this is what he looks like nowadays, Skinny, if you're curious. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know who that so, is. Uh, <laughs> I, again, I call him dumb Matt Damon. I think he okay. played a young Matt Damon in some movie back in the day as well. <laughs> so he gets... Uh, and he's now married to um, Reese... Not Reese Witherspoon. Uh, Kirsten Dunst. He's married what? to Kirsten Dunst these days. They were in Fargo season two together. And Man, he's it's, a goofy looking fucker. And I personally think Fargo season two is probably like the second or third best ep- season of TV. Like if it's just one season. So I, I, you know, it's very high on my list. And Friday Night Lights is an all time classic TV show, um, of course. Um, I'm trying to see what else he's been in. Oh, uh, yeah, I was like, I thought they were trying to say he was the kid from Like Mike, and I was like, if so, that means he's the the human head weighs eight pounds kid. But I know that's <laughs> not him, so they just happen to be like, you might like this as well, I guess. But eight um, pounds. So anyway, also my um same age, so maybe that's why I like him because he's uh, born the same year as I I was. Um, all right, so anyway, that was Jesse Plemons. All right, number four on my list is going to be a favorite of many people. I'm going to go with Michael Kenneth Williams. Oh. Y'all, everyone will know him as Omar from The Wire. Hell yeah. So, of R. course, R. I'm sure you know what he looks yeah. like. Rest in peace. And uh, he's also in a couple other things. He's also in Boardwalk Empire. He's one of my favorite characters in that. He plays Chalky White. Mm. And then he's also in this show called... Uh, so I got to get into Boardwalk. Lovecraft Country. He was in that oh, with yeah. Jonathan Majors. And the, I like that a lot as well. Uh-huh. Um if, if I saw it, I know he's dead now, but if there was a time when he was in a show, I was going to give that show a shot. Like he had that much prowess, if you will. Like, like all right, well, I mean, if he's in it, it's got to be fucking good. So um, I really like Michael Kenneth Williams. Uh, it is very sad. What did he, I can't remember what he died of. Uh, overdose. I like overdose. Like, yeah, I got some fans. Yeah, it's how it goes. It's like shit. It's how it goes these days. <laughs> um, all right, number three on my list will be the least known person, most definitely. Um, but I saw him in something recently and I was like, fuck, I do love this guy. And I love every time he's in something. Um, and that is Chris Bauer is how I say you would say his name. Um, I don't know if you would recognize him or not. Uh, mm-hmm. but he is in true blood. He is the sheriff in true blood. He's okay, in, yeah. he's in uh, season two of the wire. Uh, so that's him in the wire season two where he's yeah. like the dock worker uncle, uh-huh. uh, crazy ass hair going on. <laughs> and, He's in this show Hills that I've been in the middle of watching and he's very good in that. And he's just he's just a really good TV actor because I mean, some about TV like they just become the character and he has like a different voice in every fucking show he's in. He's also in uh, The Deuce, which I love The Deuce, uh, which is by the same guy that made The Wire. So that's where the connection is there. But he has a good role there. Um, so, yeah, I just I think he's very underrated. And, underrated. If, and if I see well, as soon as I saw him in Hills, I'm like, well, we're going to watch this <laughs> Because uh, that's how much I, I like him. Right, so, right. Check that out. All right, number two on my list. Um, this one, uh, he's, he's gotten very popular lately, um, which is great. But his name's Walton Goggins. Looks like this. You've probably seen him. Many oh, things. yeah, I've seen him. Oh, uh, yeah. He is. I first saw him in the show Justified. It's probably where I Isn't first that, was like, that, oh, that this guy's awesome. Show he's in there. Right. And he's in Rogers Gemstones. OK, uh, yeah. he is. the He's baby Billy. He's the, the uncle, old man. And oh, he's, he's also in the Django. Like, shit. I mean, he's also in Django. It's correct. The Django Not a TV don't show. kill you. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, he is in. Uh, a show called Vice Principles was where him and Danny McBride first hooked up mm-hmm. for uh, Ratchet Gemstones and Fallout, the Fallout TV show. He was also in. So he's just he's really good actor. And if I yeah. see Zins, I'm like, oh, I'll give it a shot. You know, he's right, uh, right. he's worth it for that. Um, and then a little anticlimactic because I just mentioned his name accidentally already. But number one on my list for top five favorite TV actors I fuck with is Danny McBride. So Danny McBride um, is Kenny Powers, uh, Roger Jim Stones. If you might know who this guy is, skinny here. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. So Danny, 
And so, yeah, David Bride's the best. Um, also, because he creates the show. So uh, he's had three great TV shows that he has created um, and ran and stars in. And that would be Eastbound and Down, which is a must watch for anyone. Like, I don't yeah. like you have to watch Eastbound and Down uh, if you like comedy shows. And then Vice Principles is only a two season show, but that it wasn't like it was canceled. That was just the how long it was supposed to be. It is also very good. I know Soko watched it somewhat recently and he would you know tell me how much he liked it and then righteous gemstones is his newest one which has an all-time cast i mean it's so the cast is so fucking good i understand if you're like really religious you might be against it because you think it's sacrilegious in some way but no open um, mind. it's very funny it's very good <laughs> and uh danny mcbride is the best if he came out the Kill new tv them. show for next year i'm gonna watch it the you know first day or whatever like you know i'm just Welcome i love here. danny mcbride um now, my honorable mentions real quick. Uh, these people have not pulled up, so you'll just have to imagine them here, Skinny. Uh, Jared Harris, who is this British guy who was in Chernobyl, and he's also in Mad Men. He's like uh, got those thick bottle coat glasses. Um, and he's just, you know, very British looking. Up. He was also in The Crown, but he's just so good. And everything he's in, he's just a really good actor, and I really like him, so I got to put him on the list. Um, Adam Devine who is also in Righteous Gemstones, and he's in Workaholics, and he did a guest spot in Modern Family that he was pretty good at. Um, yeah. I really like him. I shouldn't know if he had as, as much <laughs> to put here, but I remember the first episode, me and Powell watched Workaholics, and I looked at him, I was like, this guy's a star. Like, I mean, they're all funny, but this guy's like, gonna be the sh- like a huge. So, like, I, so I've been in for a long time on Adam Devine. Um, and then uh, Timothy Oliphant, I really like he's the guy fun. from uh, Justified. He's like the main dude in Justified. And he's also in Deadwood before that, which was very good. Mm-hmm. And the reason he didn't make the list, he's also in this stupid ass zombie Netflix show. And it's so bad that I'm like, I can't put him on here. And then John Lithgow made my honorable mention. He's on Third Rock from the Sun. And he's good in anything he does. But he was also on Dexter one season, which he was like awesome as the Trinity killer. So I just want to include him on the list. Those are the TV actors I fuck with. If they're in something, I'll consider watching it very heavily but, um, um of course those are all scripted shows uh i can fuck with it hell yeah so not yeah, trying to shoot. i fuck with the actor i can fuck with the show i try to like if i don't like it, i'm out of that like nah i'm good <laughs> yeah we've been watching uh apple tv uh because we got a few months of it uh and they're like all these shows they never advertise but are like really good but we've kind of gotten stuck on on ted lasso for now so i'm trying to get through that shit so I can then go watch other other stuff they offer. And I know this is a weird fucking take, but I can do it. Someone that would have been on my list is someone like Jason Siegel. Um, he was uh, Marshall in How I Met Your Mother. And he's also Forgetting Sarah Marshall. He's like that main guy. And um, he's going around making all these interviews for his TV show mm-hmm. called Shrinking that he's doing. And what, all this shit I'm about to say is like crazy, like too obsessive with celebrity stuff. I know I don't really care, but mm-hmm. this is my thoughts. He feels like he's lost his soul. And I know that's like a crazy take as someone who's like not religious or whatever, but like he used to like give interviews and he was so joyful and he was like a goofy kind of guy. And you would be like, oh, he seems like a fun person. And now he does interviews and he's all like, I don't know, just something about the way he talks, his whole personality and his look. And it just seemed like he's lost something. Like maybe like he accidentally killed someone and it's having to keep it a secret and it's like changed him inside or whatever. But then Ooh. I saw an ad for the fucking show he's on on mm-hmm. Apple TV and he act, his character is also like that. And so I'm like, huh. like he was in that winning time show and he was good in that. And I didn't notice him being weird, but I'm like, I don't know. He just seems fucking different. Like uh, maybe you've seen some weird Hollywood shit. I don't know. That's, you know, I'm just guessing there off some weird interviews. Um, so anyway, let's uh, play our last song. Last song, baby. And this one we're going with is uh, a song that I've played on here, but I have not released yet. So I thought I might as well play Unreleased. it again. Unreleased. And uh, it's called Classy Flow 2. We're classing it up the flows in And um, this was, you know, I, I use a little internet samples from uh, different TikTok videos. It's kind of a little flavor of what we're doing on my project with Brad. And then, uh, you know, I'm making this classy album as well. That's getting pretty close to done. That'll probably be the first, next thing that comes out maybe in January if I can Don't actually anyway. wrap some shit up here. But um, I'm close, but I'm also waiting for a couple features. We'll see what happens. Um, but that'll probably be the next thing that's actually completed. Uh, so this will be on it. And I don't want to re 
you know, release it too early. Because honestly, I don't want to keep releasing too many things called classy, whatever. I should probably just release classy too. But it's then again, shit. I don't I don't keep it classy. It's going to be classy. Uh, but I really like this one. It's one of my favorite unreleased things at the moment. Uh, classy Flow 2. Let's give it a listen. Wrong again. Are there any drugs in this house? Wrong again. You gotta be smarter than that. Am I drunk? No. Wrong again. Am I intoxicated? Maybe. You gotta be smarter than that. Wrong again. I'ma go ahead and be up front I like smoking blunts and I like eating cunts I don't know if I'm a rapper, you and Colin, what you want But I'm smoking on the shit that got my neighbors thinking that I hit a skunk Still only drink whiskey to get drunk Then I practice abstinence cause like I don't give a fuck Trying to raise the bar, just to see if I can reach your flow So sick and need immediate treatment It ain't no secret that I kill beach frequent Sometimes that shit great and sometimes it just decent Why y'all tripping, got Copenhagen swag, bitch I'm always spitting See a star when you see me, so stop wishing not your average by head, but it's how to make decisions. So Mo be chillin', shout out, chat be dealing. Live behind bars like a captured villain. Trying to make millions, but settle for thousands. Like, need pounds of kush, but I'll settle for ounces. When all the weeds surround us, it's hard to get our ass off the couches. But nothing is real simulation all around us. And maybe that's too much for you, but it works for me. Cause like nothing true, it's so hard to believe. Y'all don't know what to do, so I start smoking trees. Are there any drugs in this house? Come on, come on. If there are, if there are, you better find them or give them to find them. I'm fresh like milk out the udder I'm vanilla ice cold, that's what of your mother Tell haters get in line and grab a fucking number Then watch them get served like I'm a fucking butler Go raw, no rubber, I'm the shit You need a plunger in the trash that you callin' Tracks, man, throw them in the dumpster If I'm in the building, I blow up the structure I stay on that green like if you hand me that putter And this pussy next to me smell like supper One after another on the road like I'm butter So sick of jabronis, keep calling me brother Eight of the mo like no other. Come on, bro, get out of here. I come in clutch, they pop out of gear. These new rappers so pussy, they need to stop with all the tears. Feel like a tear above. Shit, true enough. Lack confidence, like I don't do enough. Just cause my views ain't up on the field, I'm suited up. Guess I don't recruit enough. I don't know if y'all get that, but fuck it, I'm violent. Y'all gotta admit that. When I need a break, like a Kit Kat, till everyone shut the fuck up, I don't need none of chit chat. You can be mad at me all you want, but you can't be on my phone Googling anime lesbians and not know how to delete your search history. That's act like that's my fault. Are there any drugs in this house? You gotta be smarter than that, man. Immediately. Come on. You gotta be smarter than that, man. Not wrong again. Come on. Immediately. Come on. Come on. You gotta be smarter than that, man. Wrong again. Come on. Come on, uh, man. Mo. Come on. Classy yeah, yeah. flow too. Classy, good man. That piano shit. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I like that a lot. It's one of my favorites. Do, 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 do. I've, yeah, I've been a little overwhelmed with the music. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really hit me when I was showing it to you the other day. Because yeah. what happened was last weekend the wife left town for twenty four hours, and so that gave me a chance to go That's crazy my and um, do a lot of shit. Go stupid, hell yeah, and. Uh, then I forgot like two fucking songs I even recorded uh-huh. for that 24 hour period and I was showing you shit I was like oh fuck I don't even know this existed like, damn you were showing me some shit he's like god damn bro you got, you got, you got and, it going uh, on so I'm working on three albums at once <laughs> and <laughs> I have them in it. folders and I have like plans mentally <laughs> and I have all the notes for mine and Brad so that one's not confusing I understand exactly where we're at on that one but the other two I'm like I don't know. So last night I actually just like spent all evening like figuring out classy two and like what beats I actually want on here, which mm-hmm. ones, that, and kind of doing like some track lists at like what order they would be in. So we're getting some of it figured out, but it was very much like, damn. And if I like just died uh-huh. tomorrow, if like, I have oh, all God. these fucking songs that like no one will hear. I mean, you've heard them, mm-hmm. um, but Get them shits out. yeah, you'll be like hitting Brad up. How do I release? Nice, yeah, I figured it. Boom, get uh, to shit. So you know, it's uh, it's, sad ones. it's sad, but you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, who knows? Simulation could reset tomorrow. Reset. Um, yeah. So yeah, lots of music. Um, mm-hmm. I'm waiting on. I'm waiting. I think a verse from Soko. I think is it. And then I have, and then we have. We're trying to do another classy cipher. To put on it, of course, which right. we haven't started at all, and now so I'll take some like assistance from other people, and then I have I think two beats that I really want to fit in there because they just sound classy, you know. Like it'll be like a little saxophone or something will come in there being all sw- smooth and shit. 
You're like, yeah, that's got to be on there. Um, and then the intro I made a hook to that kind of sucks, but I'm like, all right, well, now I got to make verses. So, you know, you just got to keep on keeping yeah. on. Yep. Keep working keep on, on it. pushing. That's right. Um, yeah, I don't know how. Hopefully, it turns out good. I, th- I think you're there here. I'm like, man, I'm fucking killing it. But then yeah, again, I feel it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, in I, that bag. I can be biased, I guess. I don't know. But. Yeah, you usually say, hey, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. But then, like, now you saying you feel it. Like, yeah, there he goes. Like, yeah, there you, you fucking feel that shit, bro. Hell yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's um, lyrically, just things seem pretty solid. Seem pretty, not always, but you know, most yeah, not always. It, like, it usually. It's not solid to you. Never, now that like this is like a very rare thing. It's like, yeah, now you say, all right, that's a difference. So maybe that's why you need to just need to feel it. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm killing this shit. Now I'm gonna keep that shit going. I was like, how did that? I'm on my sad boy shit. <laughs> but I still like the sad boy shit too. Mm-hmm. I make a lot of good R and B beats, which you've heard. Mm-hmm. But like, I can't really sing, so I'm like, fuck. But I need so, to. Uh, ooh, like panty me and Karma have one right now that I I really like. I mean, it's not release of course but it'll be on retrograde which is the <laughs> third album we're going and uh i'm really like in my little auto-tune bag you know because i can do it if i'm in the right mood uh open their ass and i really feel like it it works well so that oh, would yeah. be exciting um, so yeah, anyway lots of just just get on the the preview of the music for the future because mm-hmm. we don't know when we'll listen to whatever uh next episode is all rocky hey. and forgotten one songs and then I'll probably play one unreleased song of mine. Then the week after that will be H2. The plan, I think, is we're going to start. We'll do one song from some, like, maybe Sir Nasty, right? Like, one mm-hmm. we haven't played. And then we'll do, like, the top five H2 songs. And then I'll play probably one of my songs at the end. Give us the normal seven. Um, and then, you know, the other people at the other week. So we'll see who's on what week and what who we do where. But uh-huh. uh, and I also have not made any of the lists. So I've been talking a lot of shit. And I haven't <laughs> yeah. put any work into it whatsoever because <laughs> basketball really season started and all the basketball Playing podcasts basketball. came out. And then all these fucking politicians are going on podcasts. Uh-huh. And I kind of want to listen to those because I'm interested. And uh, I'm everywhere. There's just so much stuff to listen to. Mm-hmm. I haven't ever listened to much music. And then I kind of feel like that's good because then that's when I come in and make the most music i don't know it's uh, a weird thing you go through cycles and shit it's a uh, cycle uh, well we got what are your plans this week like i know you said it's almost over for some of your dad duties but uh yeah, 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 does that affect your part. plans and schedules and shit or you still be just i mean i like it like it's so down because now there's basketball season so we're not just chasing down like in football we go to the we'll watch that shit everywhere and <laughs> basketball they be going out of town it's like nah we just like hey we, they have so many games so we can just right make games you'll do like day. Uh, home games basically yeah do some home games that are close enough games we'll drive to them and shit and so right gotta get then gotta alternate because both of them in basketball season i gotta like i gotta see your game see your game let's like keep it fairness and shit <laughs> i think it's wild and i understand it's always been like this so it's not like it's new but i just think it's crazy you have to like pay to see your kids play in all of them yeah right. like you show up and then you got to pay for a ticket and you're like what and my kids they, doing it and then you know, like then like the not even the school ball you gotta pay the for your kids to play in these tournaments like and you're like doing the extra ball and, and i get the reasoning because someone has to pay for the facilities i get it all yeah it's just also like there's so much money but it the, seems it, like it, the parents though should get a ticket and like, i don't know <laughs> like my, it should be like, like a tax write-off because i gotta pay like 19 dollars for my my kid to play in this tournament then i gotta pay for myself like 12 dollars for myself then eight dollars for a kid and shit like uh some places do give a military discount but some places don't like motherfuckers, we get all your damn money <laughs> so yeah you don't spend like 60 dollars to get up in this motherfucker what i think <laughs> part of it is they like pay the refs out of the gate fees and yeah, shit like that uh, yeah. you know and some of these places take advantages and like a shit because then like, like to you each day like these one tournaments you got paid twenty dollars to get in there. Oh yeah. And then I've the next it. day, hey, you got paid twenty twenty more dollars. Then you gotta just keep every time it's like oh they kick you out and shit. Then you got pay to get back in. Like what the fuck? Like this shit is stupid. <laughs> They're just making money banking. <laughs> when I was in school, the concession stand worked where it was like because I know it's different in every school, but like a club would sign up to be like we want to uh, work this game and then they got to the profit from that right. night or whatever yeah. so i would have, i worked the concession a few times yeah i think it's but. kind of be like, be like a booster club and shit like oh yeah let's boost it up like a good money for Dude, our- i miss those fucking football game hamburgers so much yeah, i don't know if they still exist anymore but as a kid you would like 
go to a football game and there would be like just some old ass fat guys that have this huge ass fucking yeah, they, grill they and they have man. like a hundred burgers on it and you'd order one and I think what sticks out to me the most my memory is how like red the burger is uh, you know what I mean it's like yeah. got a red tint to it all or whatever and then uh, it's like the most delicious burger you've ever had in your life but <laughs> in, at that time because I'm poor like four dollars was like so much money yeah, right? I, where now I would give anything to find a place selling fucking four dollar burgers that look like that. Mm. Um, the shit ain't the same. Well, I don't even stop at the fucking food trucks. I want to all the time, but I never do. So I'm, I'm not that adventurous, <laughs> you know. So maybe ro- I might just roll up to a high school game soon, mm. eat, eat dinner, and leave. Yeah, they so they had a <clears> like a a smoked brisket one. I didn't even know they had the one. Like, it was like oh, I would have fucking come up and ate the Boosie Club shit. Man, I saw a picture today of a brisket that I was trying to show to Coopy, and she's like, I I don't care at all. But they're so expensive a brisket, but I really do want to buy one and smoke one. And I think I could do pretty good at it. But like, if you fuck it up, it's like, well, there's seventy dollars down the drain. Like, yeah, it's a significant amount of money. And then people are like, yeah, you just cut it and then you so, can freeze I some. Give me a gram for that much. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> They like, fuck. And that's still wasting. Like, hey, we all worked out. That's where we're going to have to be with the Adderall shortages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we need to. Uh, I, because that's like, I, I'd really do. That's what, to finish all these albums, I need uh, pick me ups, if you will. Mm-hmm. That's what you need. <laughs> that's how you get so much stuff done. Um, it's not fair, but it man, is reality. It's always snowing, man. Like, shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. Shit's so crazy. Uh, well, it's fun. I'm glad that's back around. Uh, especially if you're just in time for winter. So it's snowing. So yesterday, people got some playing some hockey. Oh, I don't need. <laughs> I don't need none of that. Uh, not this I mean, guy. Some, right? That's like God dang. I seen them glaciers. They're like God damn. You know where there's that like uh, <laughs> what's that word? Peta uh, billboard that's like all the animals yeah. and it goes, where do you draw the line of like what you eat if it yeah. was one about drugs for me it's like yeah rabbits we yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, man, that's, that's how it look too beautiful i could get that shit away from me like oh snow's beautiful but, uh, ice is dangerous like, i think there's a reason they're named that you know Ooh-wee. you can drive on the snow you can't drive on ice it's like, too show. dangerous it's the black ice what did black ice did to you <laughs> black ice never did nothing to hurt nobody <laughs> why well, gotta be black man uh this is me end on there was this black guy I knew uh, when I was in high school in my hometown, he was an, older than me and he would claim he knew me since I was a kid. Or, I'm sure he did. Right. Uh, and his name was Mims. 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 Just, this is why. This is this why. Why I'm, I was going to say drop it like a top, but this is, this is why I'm uh, <laughs> So Mims would, uh, when I first started smoking weed, so I'd be at these like druggy houses or whatever, right. <laughs> getting a fucking quarter pound of weed or whatever the fuck I was like, buying. Like and uh, yeah, but you're around a lot of people doing like, uh, math and shit that I'm and I wasn't doing at the time and I remember Mims just fucking lecturing me about how he invented blue meth and how he crumbles up a uh, blue football in with this stuff and he goes it all comes out a lot blue and he was just loved and loved it and then years later fucking Breaking Bad comes out with their blue meth and every time I saw that I was like they stole that shit from Mims Mims invented the blue meth right. um, Mims also used to tell me that he smoked weed with the judge and that's why he never got in trouble for it. Yeah. He goes, I, you know, if you look at the judge, someone has to bring it to him. I bring in those blonde raps and I bring it in, you know, so that's why yeah. they don't see me. <laughs> yeah, that's what he has to speak. Like, they don't see me. They don't see me. Yeah, and you're they, like, hell they, yeah. He man. dying shit. Like, there's like that pink cocaine too. Like, shit. Oh, you know what pink cocaine is? I just learned it's sweet. It's actually meth mixed mm-hmm. with, it's three things. I can't remember what it was meth, heroin, and something else yeah. and i was like oh because i have a song co- i love called pink cocaine and i just yeah. thought it was like yeah a top of cocaine that was slightly yeah. pink i would have done it easily but now that i know what it is i'm like oh, oh yeah they, i don't that, think that i should shit, do so that. the difference so you only do it a little bit and that's how that one that one that one of those fucking young singers that really found they found in his room that pink cocaine yeah. shit yeah, yeah. I, I see why he's going fucking mad up in there he's fucking doing some shit <laughs> i'm all for like i really like normal speed Back yeah. of the down of that exists anymore, but it's like the normal pills. It was just like amphetamines. It wasn't mm-hmm. meth, it was just normal shit. 
And I was like, this is great. Why don't more people just have this? But again, I think I have ADHD and it just makes me normal yeah, in some I, way. And uh, so in, I'm like, like, this is great. <laughs> and everyone else is like fucking tweet trying to eat people's cats and shit. And I'm like, right. oh, this is a <laughs> miracle like, drug. Shit, blow up my mind at the game and shit. Like, boom, zooted in. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, hey, like, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm zooted in. Like, boom, boom, boom. What's up, kids? Like, rah, rah, rah. Right. But you, <laughs> can, that's, you can always do too much. So even these things that maybe do self-medicate mm-hmm. you a little bit. You will yeah, push you, it too much, and all of a sudden, you're like, eyes are all big. And you're mm-hmm. like, I'm just watching the game. <laughs> right. That's why I, I had some pink shades on last night. Just all pinked out. They have my pink shades on. In my own world, it's hanging out. They're like, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, you got to be careful out there. Um, be careful what you do. And, and avoid all the heroin. Mm. Avoid all the heroin, yeah, all the yeah, Oxycontin. Don't, and ch- all the, don't chase the line. Like, oh, that's, we, it's I, the I just think. Historically, those are so much harder to recover from. Yeah, to man, like fucking some H, like man, like, oh, it's what we're gonna do. Then be like, oh, there's a depressing over here. Like, I don't you've know, almost I never those, met like a coke. I mean, there are coke addicts. Don't get me wrong, but not like my life was ruined because right. they were like they lost all their money. Yeah, because it's so expensive and shit. Man. Yeah, but they normally don't ruin was like, their life. I know that was so that's so cheap. Yeah, that's why so many fuckers are so fucked up around here. Like, yeah. Like, no, it ain't the same price. Do you think we would have if it was more expensive? Like, yeah, more people would be doing that shit. It would be like, Coke is yeah. a rich man drug. And, 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 and meth is really bad. Like, I think, I'm sure people still know but because it used to be always talked about, but like meth heads are crazy and we Mm. see them a lot around here like they are another level Mm -hmm. um they're definitely worse than coke heads or or heroin addicts i would say yeah they're They're heroin addicts all all slow yeah heroin addicts aren't bothering you it's like well this is what we're doing like man like you like academy like meth heads i don't like think they're superman (laughs) and they're gonna like try to fight and you're like listen you're 80 pounds and i'll probably break many bones and you Mm. won't pass out because you're on meth (laughs) Like shit, who happens to this bit? This bitch is my friend private. Boone. He's the one I'm trying to see on Thanksgiving week, and on this, I remember when I was in college still, and I called him. He lived in Dallas, and he got eight months in jail or whatever. And it was because a meth head fought him at a bar, and he broke this guy's jaw in three places, mm-hmm. and like broke something else. And the guy was still fought. And he's like yeah. the cop. The guy was still fought me with broken bones, and then I got eight months in jail. And I was right. like, that's, that's shit's crazy. Like, yeah, uh, I had to wrestle me a tall bitch. She's like five eleven, like fucking hundred sixty pounds. Like pick that bitch. I was like, boom, boom. Like, like, like dropped on her hands. Like, yeah, bitch, don't fuck around. I'll fuck your ass up, you big bitch. Like, yeah. damn. <laughs> like, yeah, I spike you, like man. <laughs> Put in the foot. Where was this at? Oh, everybody's house. Oh, this bitch huh. was getting just get fucked up, going to be aggressive and shit. Bitch, I'll fucking choke. Fuck, I'll choke your ass out, bitch. Okay, how your big bitches hands out? She's like, oh shit, you can pick me up like this, but I had her on her fucking head. I will spike you, bitch. That's right. <laughs> I'm, very glad I'm nice right now. <laughs> equal less, equal rights is what they call right? it. Right? Just, just drop her on the floor and then, and then put an elbow on her though. Just for fun. Like, yeah, yeah, get your fucking face on the floor, bitch. And she got so wet and it was crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they love yeah. it. Yeah, that's the bitch I've been fucked before. She was gonna throw up the trash can, still fucking her. Like, boom, like, you throw up the trash can. Shut up, bitch. Hell yeah. That's a video. We can sell that one. <laughs> Hell yeah. You break it out in the clips. Uh, it's like, can you smell right now? So it's good. I'm glad I'm clogged up. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. I feel like we've been talking forever. Uh, mm-hmm. That's Watch good. That. You gotta be safe with a garbage uh-huh. bitch like that. Uh, if she's going to get man. fucked in a trash can, these you bitches know, dirty man. around here. Like, what the fuck? Like, yo, you think y'all clean? Y'all be fucking with these dirty dick motherfuckers, I'm, nasty bitches. That's probably what will keep me married. Uh, uh-huh. I like can't shit. imagine ever I wearing a like, condom. I, mean, I thought I had me a true. Like, no, nope, now you're going to be kind of fucking with some random, bring some bullshit in it. Yeah. Like, lying bitches. That does suck. You got to keep them lying. You got to keep them boxes on you. Yeah, that's true. Well, there you go, kids. You heard it here first. Wrap it up. Or last. <laughs> not first, but this is the you last place. You just ow, heard it. Ow. Um, But I think we're still in October when this comes out. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe it's scary season. Uh, Yeah, it'll still be October. So another beat from Brad's pack. <laughs> oh, beat and, pack. Uh, anyway, y'all enjoy the beat and uh, peace. Peace.
Hear the, the Mo makes beats. Hear the